The Central Ohio Association of Christian Broadcasters welcome you tonight to Prayer Line Live. Prayer is a powerful tool in God's kingdom. Please call your prayer request or praise report in this evening, and may God richly bless you. Somebody's praying, I can feel it. Somebody's praying. Welcome to Prayer Line Live. This is Richard Stevens here. Send in your praise reports and your prayer requests. And God does answer prayer. And so uh, I've, got a, I've got a story of a healing tonight that I'm going to read to you. And uh, it, it, I, I read it last night to my wife. We, we go over these things every day, something on faith and healing or a miracle or angels or something. And uh, I'm sure that you enjoy this. I, I would say, well, call in and let me know if you enjoy it, but what if 100 people called in? Okay, so we're, we're going to read you this, this story here. If we get a prayer request in the middle of it, we'll just stop and pray. I, uh, this is from Guideposts, and uh, I don't know, 1996, Guideposts, September. I woke early uh, November 30th last year, wrapped in romantic thoughts. Dave and I had been married less than two months, and it was thrilling to open my eyes and find my handsome 35-year-old husband doing his warm-up up exercises beside the bed before his family run, his daily run. He leaned down, kissed me, and slipped one of his two dog tag chains around my neck. Where are these till I come home, he whispered before he left. David was a major in military intelligence at Fort Concha, and as I fingered the tags around my, and as I fingered the tags around my neck, I thank God for bringing us together. Our marriage was a second for both of us. Once we had long one we would long prayed about. Each of us had asked God for a lifetime Christian mate, and, and at last our dreams had come true. I glanced at the clock, jumped up, and showered. I had joined a Red Cross class and was trained to become a volunteer at the Post Dental Clinic. So it was on the Army Post. Before leaving her for class, I wrote David a love note while I was taping on the bathroom mirror where he would see it when he came home to shower. I heard the wail of sirens. I paused to pray for whoever was injured, as I had done since I was a little girl. Then I went off to class not realizing I just prayed for my own husband. I was in class when David's commanding officer appeared at the doorway and motioned for me to come into the hall. One look at his face told me something was wrong. He gave me the news as calmly as he could. David was hit by a car while he was jogging. As the colonel walked with me to the hospital adjacent to the dental clinic, I learned that David had been struck by a car traveling about 55 miles an hour. The driver had been temporarily blinded by the rising sun, and David had been thrown onto the hood, landing against the windshield. When the horrified driver hit his brakes, David had been catapulted some 64 feet and had landed headfirst on the pavement. When we got to the hospital, medics were moving him onto a flight for the University Medical Center in Tucson, 75 miles away. I was in a state of shock as the colonel's wife drove me there. At UMC's emergency room, I was told David would be taken to surgery to repair his broken legs and arm, but then a neurosurgeon appeared and canceled those plans. David head, David's head scan showed he had suffered multiple skull fractures and little brain activity was going on. They would have to put in a shunt immediately to relieve pressure on his brain and use a monitor to gauge his intracranial pressure moment by moment. The nearest surgeon looked directly into my face. Your husband is dying, he said. He has two to 48 hours at most. I wanted to scream at him or ask if he could be wrong, but I had always been pol too polite to question people in authority. That's what Holly, my 21-year-old daughter from my previous marriage, said anyway. She always tried to get me to stand up for myself, but the doctor was towering over me now. You should call your family and get them here fast, the nearest surgeon was saying. And I see your husband, Mark Donor, on his driver's license, so you'll need to think about donating his organs. Suddenly the room seemed to be closing in. I had to get outside. Thank you, I said. Excuse me, I have to pray now. I stumbled to an outside patio and sank down into, onto a bench. How can this be happening? How can David be dying? My mind escaped to the previous June, to the tranquil front porch of my lakefront house in Sackett's Harbor, New York, where David and I had met. I was living a quiet life with Holly, and David was on a four-month assignment in the area. I sat reading my Bible on the front porch as David ran by each morning. One day he stopped and 
start a conversation about the Bible, which led to dating and a proposal soon afterward. We both recognized each other's God's answer to our prayers for lifetime mates. Now, in case you just tuned in, I'm reading a story out of Guidepost, and it's, it's covered with the word. It's called Covered with the Word, and it says, Her husband was pronounced brain dead, but this woman refused to get a grip on reality. <coughs> by, the time, <coughs> by the time David's father, mother, and brother Mark arrived, at the hospital, I was fasting and praying, sometimes silently, sometimes murmuring softly into David's ear while I held his hand, hour by hour. A kind neurosurgeon, Dr. William Smith, was now in David's case, but the prognosis was still bleak. When doctors shone a light into David's eyes, there was no response. Soon David sank into a coma. The pressure on David's brain shot up to five times above normal. The next day, Dr. Smith explained that since the brain was swelling and pushing against the skull, circulation was being cut off. My husband's brain was being damaged to such an extent that if he lived, he would be a vegetable. Forty-eight hours passed. Dr. Smith told us the monitor showed pressure on the brain that was incompatible with life. Clinically, your husband is brain dead, he explained gently. On the fifth day after the accident, when David's Condition did not change. Well-meaning friends drew up a list of how many of his organs could be used to help those in dire condition. Arrangements were made for David to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery. I understood the other's motivation. I had put my husband in God's hands and would accept whatever happened, but I couldn't shake the feeling. Hallelujah. But I couldn't shake the feeling that neither God nor I was ready to give him up. That evening, December 4th, Dr. Smith called the family together gently but firmly explained that we could continue to keep David on life support indefinitely or we could make the decision to harvest his organs. Holly joined us as the family talked door into the night, our hearts breaking. When I went to my room, I felt lower than ever, tears streaming down my face. I took my Bible to bed. God, if David is truly dead and it's your will that he be with you, I understood. Stand. But if there's something more I should do, please let me know. I opened my Bible to the book of John and there was a story of Lazarus. I had read it many times before, but suddenly the words took on new meaning. Mar Martha's brother Lazarus had been dead for four days before Jesus went to the tomb with Martha. Martha, As I read, my tears stopped abruptly. I'm the resurrection of life, Jesus said. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Do you believe? John 11, 25 and 26. I sat up in bed. Yes, I believe, I said aloud. I believe that it is your will. If it's your will, you can save David just as you saved Lazarus then. The next morning, I dressed in the brightest colored clothes I had as a symbol of life. Carrying my Bible as if it were a sword, I went into David's room to battle for his life. As usual, he was laying spread, spread eagle on that strangely shaped bed, which moved constantly to stimulate his circulation. Maneuvering carefully around all the tubes and medical apparatuses, I started reading the 11th chapter of John, standing over David's head, then on one side of him. Then on the other side of him, now she's reading the, she's reading the Bible, she's reading the Bible here, and, and it's surrounding him with the word. And at his feet, even kneeling and leaning under his bed, I was not trying to perform some magical ritual, rather I was trying to cover David's body with the word of God. Doctors and nurses in the room gave me sidelong glances, a few openly disdainful, a few embarrassed and a few understanding, but I wasn't timid. I read aloud con confidently, so she's reading the Bible right in front of disaster. When I finished reading, I opened my Bible and laid it on David's chest, the same Bible that had attracted David to me in Sackett's Harbor. With my hands on his head, I prayed aloud for a miracle, heedless of the medical people looking on. While I sang Amazing Grace, David's favorite hymn. His father stood by the window, his hands clasped in prayer, and his brother Mark prayed in the chapel. Medical teams came and went. A neurosurgeon stopped me in the hall after her. Get a grip on reality, she told me. Stop talking about miracles. For someone usually so awed by authority, I wasn't the slightest bit intimidated. Our God is a mighty healer, I replied simply. All that day, when anyone referred to David as brain dead, I was surprised at the authority in my voice when I gave them the same response. Reports of others praying for David bolstered me even more. When I went to the hotel room that night, I slept peacefully. The next day, as I walked into David's room, his father met me at the door. Don't get your hopes up, he said, but when they examined David's eyes today, they saw a flicker of response. We sat watching and praying at David's bedside. As the hours passed, his arms moved. Then later, his legs. On December 7th, 
I wrote in my diary while sitting at David's side. Buzzes and beeps resound in my husband's room. Signs of life to all who hear that Jesus Christ is the healer. Gradually, David responded more and more to what was going on around him. He couldn't talk because he had a tube in his throat. So he wrote notes to his family cl clustered around his bed. With a shaky hand, he scrawled out to me, I love you. The near surgeons were all astounded by the reversal of David's condition. They said they had never seen anyone so badly injured return to normal. Dr. Smith said he'd never seen a miracle, but he thought he was seeing one now. When the tubes was removed from David's throat, he murmured that I was beautiful and asked me to marry him. We are married, I said, laughing for the first time in days. On December 8, doctors repaired the breaks in David's legs and then his arm. Shortly after, David was moved to the Tucson Veterans Administration Medical Center. Day by day, little by little, his memory returned, starting with his earliest behavior and progressing onward. David's fast forward in a matter of days, in a matter of days, from childhood where he used crayons and colored and played with little cars through high school and into college where he sang the Indiana, Indiana University anthem to adulthood where he regained most of his intellectual capacity. As Holly and I helped David get ready to go home on February 2, a new nurse inadvertently placed his legs in an awkward position in the wheelchair. I politely but firmly corrected her, and my daughter smiled. I'm proud of you, Mom, how I said later. You stand up for yourself these days. I fingered the dog tags around my neck, the ones I had never removed. Yes, I had stood up for what I believed in, and now my husband was coming home. Now that she covered him with the word of God. Now he couldn't pray for himself, so it was all on her and Jesus, but uh, by his stripes you were healed. And, and when, when you, there's a lot of people, just a lot of people need healing. And some, some of it is self-invited troubles. There's, there's God-sent tests and there's devil-sent tests and there's self-invited tests. And if we'll, we, we can control all of them except God-sent tests and give you an example of a God-sent test. Uh, Paul was sent, he said he's going to go to Rome, but look at all the trouble he had getting there. The ship tore up on the beach and they had to swim to shore. The snake bit him and and, and the Jews tried to kill him before he got on the ship, but he got there. Well, that's, and, and more God sent troubles. David, he got anointed king and he ran for his life for about 20 years and had about from 600 men plus some women and children with him and he had to protect them from the king and feed them and get them water and protection all that time. Them's God, God sent troubles. But self-invited troubles, uh, if you... Uh, well, let's say you're a man and you're, you, you're going to lift something that was just too heavy for you. You know it's too heavy for you, but you're going to lift anyhow and you hurt your back. Well, that's a self-invited trouble. That don't mean God won't heal you, but uh, you, you, you need to be careful doing that because if we know better, it's just not a good thing. And then there's devil-sent troubles. The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy, but Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. And so he come that we might have this life. And uh, Jeannie and I have a TV program. It's a good life on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Be sure to tune in. And I send out an audio text message seven days a week, 365 days a year, three minutes long. And right now I'm teaching on, what am I teaching on? I was, was teaching on, I changed subject just recently. But anyhow, it, God wants you to be rich so we can spread the gospel throughout the whole world. The last thing Jesus told his disciples just about was going to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He believed baptized and be saved, and he believed not to be condemned. And these signs of all those who believe. And uh, so uh, in Revelation it tells us that uh, every tribe, tongue, and nation will be represented in, in, uh, in, on the new earth in, in heaven. They'll all, they'll some out of every tribe, tongue, and nation will get to heaven. Well, Jesus ain't coming back till that's done, and there's a lot of people that's never heard the gospel. There's a lot of uh, groups of people, dialects, that's never had a, a never seen a, a Bible portion even. And even in China, they've got millions of Bibles, but they've got a billion or so people, and and many of them in a church of a thousand. The pastor may be the only one that's got a Bible, and so. Uh, why hoard up money? You can't take it with you. God wants you to have plenty, but he wants you to have enough that you can give. And if you can be tr trustworthy, he'll give you more so you can give more. And I've heard it said something like this, 90% of the, 10% uh, of the church 
supports 90% of the work and 90% of the church supports 10% of the work, something like that. So there's, there's just a 10% that's really uh, carrying the load, you might say. Some people, they'll, they'll go to McDonald's and they'll pay the me for the meal and they'll go to uh, Coles and they'll pay the bill. They go to church and say, let somebody else pay the bill. That's just about the way it is. Well, I'm going to do my part. It's up to you to do your part. But someday we got to answer to God. And the uh, Bible says, whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. He that sows the flesh will reap corruption. He sows the spirit will reap everlasting life. And, and there's, I, I'm, I'm just taking a wild guess now. I, I'm guessing that at least 50% or maybe 75% of our physical problems is self-invited trouble. Not eating right, not exercising right, not getting enough rest, uh, bad habits, uh, different things like that. And uh, them can be prevented. Now, uh, God's been good to me, and, and I've tried to take care of myself. I, I don't overdo things. I, I know I've heard it says that sugar isn't good for you, but it's probably better to, for you than high fructose corn syrup. But anyhow, I, I, I don't really cut back on sugar that much, but I don't go, make a hog out of myself either. I don't use sugar on anything. If I make homemade pudding, I put sugar in it but I try to make it a lot less sugar than normally be in it. And, uh, and we got to take care of ourselves. Uh, you, you've only got one body, and if you don't take care of it, it ain't going to get taken care of. Your wife ain't going to take care of it. Your, your, your uncle ain't going to take care of it. You're going to have to take care of it. And if you put a bunch of junk in your body and then expect it to work just perfect, you, you might run into a problem. You, you wouldn't want to take your car and, and, and put uh, dirt in the oil pan or junk in the gas tank well we got some prayer requests well you got to take care of your body and and god god will god will help you and if you did wrong you can repent he'll forgive you okay prayer pray for carol reinhardt in riverside that's riverside hospital okay carol reinhardt oh lord you know the problem you you know the solution to the problem you know why she's there and you know you know everything about it. so heavenly father the Bible says, if any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if they've committed sins, they'll be forgiven them. They're, and the Amplified, the earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Lord God, we're praying the prayer of faith for, for Carol Reinhardt in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You said, let your requests be made known with thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Burgess family. Vonda. Okay. Vonda passed away. Yeah, I, I knew a Vonda too. That's the only two I ever heard of. And uh, uh, pray for the Burgess family. That's the mother. And uh, uh, you know, Vonda. Well, uh, Vonda Welch. Okay, the family. Pray for the yeah, family. Pray for her family. Okay. Uh, the family. Heavenly Father, we're praying for the Burgess family, and Lord, that you'll comfort them. You'll you'll comfort them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for your comfort. I thank you for your comfort in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for comforting them. Thank you. And Lord, we we do believe she went to heaven because we've heard her name around here several times, and I I would presume that she's a Christian and she went to heaven. And so we actually should rejoice when people go to heaven, but sometimes we don't, in not that kind of a mood to do it. And we got another prayer request here. Sorry, I grabbed this one on the phone in the kitchen. I'll have to find one in there. Okay, pray for, well, I better do this other two first. Pray for Charles, Charles, very serious, okay. I don't know which Charles this is, but I know a Charles that comes here and has prayer line, I believe he does. So I'm praying for Charles, Lord. You know what Charles it is. You know the situation. And Lord, we're praying and believing that, that things work out for Charles, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for Charles' healing or whatever the need may be. And I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for answering that Press. Praise the prayer request. 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to pray for Paul Walner, too. Uh, Heavenly Father, Paul Walner worked at this TV station for many years, and he's really missed around here. He did our TV program for seven years. And, Lord, we just miss him and believe that he can get back in shape and get back in the TV program and, and uh, station and, and get back to work and do his job and support his wife in Jesus' name. And thank you for taking care of Paul Walter in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for Paul Walter. And I thank you that you're working out things in his life. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for answering our prayer requests, Lord. And Judge Kavanaugh and his family. Now, I've been praying about him. And uh, I, bl I believe God wants that man in there, and I believe the devil don't. And Father God, you said you could do anything. That's what you said. You said, is there anything too hard for me? Mark 9, 23, if you can believe all things are possible, him who believes. And obviously, uh, the devil don't want him in there if all this wanted to happen. So if the devil don't want him in there, obviously God wants him in there. And so, Father God, you're bigger than the devil, and you're getting him in there. I said you're getting him in there, and Lord, the blessings of God upon his family in Jesus' name, and all these these accusations, Lord God, the false accusation. They're just falling down and, and going to run off and hide in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for bringing out victory over this thing in Jesus' name. Thank you. And devil, I bind you from hindering uh, Judge Kavanaugh from being on the Supreme Court. I bind you, Satan. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And Heavenly Father, I bind the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. And I say we've got a good, honest Supreme Court. That will last there for many years. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now we got another prayer request here. Pray for Lisa. She is back from the hospital and rehab from her heart issues. Pray for her to continue getting stronger and for her heart. Also pray for a loved one on drugs. Okay, we're, we're praying for Lisa. And Lord God, I pray. I speak strength and stamina to her in the name of Jesus. I speak strength and stamina to Lisa in the name of Jesus. Be strong, Lisa, in, in the Lord and in the power of his might. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. And, and we'll pray for this uh, friend that's on drugs. Lord, we bind the powers of darkness that's, that's deceiving this friend on drugs, and we claim their deliverance and salvation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be free and devil i bind you in this friend's life in jesus name in jesus name now about strength uh every night my wife and i we go over some scriptures and and some of them are are this uh you have overcome them this is this is part of first john 4 4 you have overcome them and it's evil spirits because greater seed is in you and he that's in the world and three john two beloved I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Nehemiah 8.10, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh, Joel 3.10, let the weak say, I'm strong. And I, I say, I'm strong in the Lord. And another scripture, I'm strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And the Lord is the strength of my life. I'll not fear, what can man do unto me? And uh, I, I, we need to go over these things because Jesus said the words John six sixty three in part the words that I speak in you their spirit and their life and so we, we need to get this spirit and life in us now if you didn't get food in us if you didn't get food in you eventually you die or water too you, if you die well if you don't get the word of God in you you're going to die spiritually you're, you're going to backslide what it is same thing dying spiritually there's, there's people that says in the Bible, it says they're, they're dead while they live. Well, they're dead spiritually while they're alive physically. Some people read that and think, how could somebody be dead while they're alive? Or you, you can't be dead while you're alive. Well, you, you can be dead while you're alive. You can be alive, uh, you can be a dead spiritually and alive physically. And God told Adam, the day you eat that bread and fruit, you're going to die. He didn't die physically, he died spiritually. Well, there's a spiritual death and, and a spiritual life, too. And so backs, uh, backsliders and sinners are all dead. Out, out of fellowship with God. That's what it is. And we don't want to be out of fellowship with God. We want to be in fellowship with God. 
And uh, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews uh, 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And John 6, 63, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And we need to get these words in us. By the way, I had a miracle on last week's TV program uh, that I did last Friday. I, I had a miracle. You don't know about it, but I'll tell you about the miracle. I was talking like this, and I said, I don't have a timer here, so I don't know how long I'm going to be on yet. And when I said yet, it shut off and went back to the network right on the second. Now, I, I'd, say, <laughs> I'd say that was a miracle because I didn't know where I was at. I knew it was towards the end of the program, but I didn't have any idea that it was right on the second. But uh, I believe in miracles. I do. And uh, we, we had a cat that, that uh, we, we loved that had the cat for about 15 years, and he died the other night, 3.30 3 in the morning. And it, it was kind of rough on us. It, it was kind of rough on us to have a pet around. It's really good pet, very obedient pet. And when he was sick, he'd be hiding under the TV stand. And my wife would say, come here, Smokey. And he'd get out there and come over there to her and lay his head on her foot and purr, even though he was he was just about ready to, to leave this world. And I don't know if cats are in heaven or not, but if they are, he'll be there, okay? And uh, God's a good God. God is a good God. Anyhow, let's talk a little bit more about prayer, health, and healing. Uh, you, you, if you took your car and just drove it forever without uh, changing the oil in it, without changing the oil filter, well, you never changed the antifreeze in the thing, you never greased it, you never checked the tires, you're going to have a piece of junk pretty quick. Well, if you do the same thing with your body, you're going to have a piece of junk pretty quick, and then you're going to say, why did this all happen to me? Well, I'll tell you why it happened to you. You didn't, why it didn't happen to you. You didn't take care of it. And, and your, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Well, don't you think if, you're, if you've got the building that the Holy Ghost is in that you ought to take care of it? You, you shouldn't overeat. You shouldn't undereat. You shouldn't go and, and not exercise, and you shouldn't overexercise. Now, I, I've heard people, and a lot of people do it, run 5, 10, 15, 20 miles. I don't do that. I, I don't do that. I don't, I'm not jogging at all now. Well, a little dab, but not very much. But I will get back to jogging again because the Lord's renewing my youth. But I, I hardly ever jog over two miles. Now, when I first started jogging when I was 59, I did get up to, I think, five miles once. And then I decided, you know, I got other things to do and I don't wear out my knees. You know, if you, if, I don't think you're made to run for five miles every day or three times a week. I, I don't think so. You could be. But I've heard people that do wear out their knees. And, and I got good knees. God, give me good knees. And I'm, I'm thankful. But take care of your body. Don't, don't eat stuff and drink stuff and, and smoke stuff and, and chew stuff that's harmful to your body. You know, if you, get, if you get something that says, this is determined by the government that this causes cancer. Well, I believe I'll just take some of that. Well, I wonder why I got cancer. Well, you had a sign on the thing. It causes cancer. And, and, and so take care of your body. You're only going to get it once. Now, now this, this, is, this is the way I think. And, and I base it on the Bible, the, the more you get done for God that he leads you to do, the greater reward you're going to get. Well, the longer you're here, the more you're going to get done then if you're, if you're in the right track and doing the right thing. If you're just goofing off, it's a different thing. But if you're trying, to, trying your best to be productive for the kingdom of God and you could live 100 years instead of 70, it's obvious you'd get a bigger reward because every man will be rewarded according to his works that God led him to do, I'll say. Now, if you just went out and did your own thing, that's a different thing. But as God leads you, and you do what he leads you to do, you're going to be rewarded for that. And any good thing a man does, the same Lord repay. So I'm, I'm really believing, the Bible says in, in, in uh, Genesis, right around the flood time, in so much as man's flesh, yet his days should be 120 years, and God never changed that. The 90th Psalm wasn't to uh, everybody, it was to them Israelites in the wilderness that had sinned. And uh, so if you've heard that 70 or 80 years, that, that don't, that's not for everybody. And anybody ever live, any sinner ever lived be 100, all Christians ought not do them uh, easily. And if any sinner ever lived be 115, all Christians ought not do them. They don't, but they ought to. And take care of your body. Take, take care of your body. It's Larry and Susan Hatfield of Hedges and Highways Ministries. 
invite you to join them at 125 South Main Street in Fostoria, Ohio. Sunday service begins at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Pastor Larry Hatfield has a prophetic anointing with a powerful healing ministry. As ministers of God, they have a strong desire to see the body of Christ strengthened through God's power. Their ministry has taken them around the United States and other parts of the world. And now we take you to today's... Welcome to tonight's program. We're so glad that you joined us. We are Hedges and Highways as a Christian organization uh, that not only has a church and uh, a body of Christians, a body of Christ, but also reaches out into the hedges and highways and to the beyond the boundaries of the church, compelling people to come in. Hedges and Highways has one of our ministers, uh, Reverend Bob Budd, in Mobile Chapel. He ministers to the truckers once a month. We also have a ministry to the flea market called Mustard Seed Ministries. We have, uh, of course, our television program to reach into your home and also uh, our writing ministry. Uh, we have several writers that are in our church. And so we're reaching out into the community. Uh, and we are so glad that you joined us. We are going to have uh, a, the Home Lighters, a gospel concert that reaches out into the community on the last Saturday of October. We hope you'll join us on the 27th at 127 South Main Street in Fostoria, Ohio. We're going to have soup, salad, and sweets at 6 o'clock, and then the concert begins at 7 p.m. with Naomi Stepp and the Home Lighters. We're going to bring the Home Lighters to you right now. I may stand on that solid rock today. Come on now. Don't be bashful. Because everything else singing sand. you enjoy the home lighters with us tonight on our program we are honored to have 
Dan Kaiser, the founder, president, CEO, and general manager of New Vision FM. And that station is out of Upper Sandusky. And also, we have with us our own uh, founder and president of COACB, David Aiken. Welcome, both of you. Today, I want to talk about vision. The Bible says without a vision, people perish. And we know that without a vision for either one of you, these ministries would not have come into being, would they? Let, let's start with um, uh, Dan Kaiser. What kind of thing triggered your vision for Christian radio? Well, that goes way back uh, many, many years ago, Susie. Just a teenager laying in bed at night, I uh, had a radio in the headboard of my bed. And I loved to listen to late night radio. Mm -hmm. I remember listening to the Grand Ole Opry and a lot of other stations off in the distance we call DX stations. Uh, Chicago, LA, whatever was coming in on AM. And um, always was fascinated by radio, which led uh, to a lot of shortwave listening, eventually into amateur radio. And then uh, years later, uh, working at uh, Christian Radio in Upper Sandusky. Uh, that was under W-Y-A-N, Christian Radio. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when that went uh, dark, as we say in broadcast world, um, God started talking to me about starting the Christian Radio station all over again. In fact, uh, I was working for different management at the time, and I was actually on a news block um, probably 10 or 11 o'clock at night, and I was in the studio all by myself, nobody was else in the building, and getting ready to do this news block, and I heard God's audible voice speak to me and say, one day all this will be yours. Wow. And it scared me to As death. As a teenager? No, this was right later. before I even met your sister. Oh, wow. And... Uh, it scared me so bad, Dave, that I can remember turning around, looking behind me. Nobody was there. I can remember looking over through the broadcast windows into our other studios, mm -hmm. and nobody was there. Wow. And then I can remember the thought that went through my mind, and that was, Kaiser, you're losing it. Because <laughs> when God speaks to you in an audible voice, yes. it scares you to death. It does. So to answer your question, that's just a little snippet about how God started using me in the Christian radio. So he put that in your heart. And you know, when I was um, uh, looking in the Word and studying in the Word about Nehemiah, the first thing that God did after he heard the news uh, about uh, the walls of Jerusalem, his heart was affected. And that's the first thing that was affected. God put this in your heart that someday... This is all going to be yours. And, and Nehemiah, he put that in his heart, and he began to cry out to God. Uh, and the first thing that's got to happen is a heart feeling. And, and Dave, can you tell us how it's all started for you? I know both of you are so technically charged, and I am not a technical person at all. Just let me type something in the computer. Don't get me on a technical thing because I don't understand. And you know what? I don't want to. But God has put that in your heart. Susan, the Lord had plans for us. Yeah. It was his plan. I got drafted. I got a letter from the President of the United States. <laughs> and uh, I was going to go to the service no matter what. And I thought, if I'll take one more year, I can get some pretty decent training. Mm -hmm. So I, I signed up for an extra year, and I'm RA1574763, okay? Uh -huh. All right. But uh, I took an extra year, and I, I had some very good training down at Port Gordon, Georgia. And then I went to Europe, uh, to uh, Stuttgart, Germany, 1st Maintenance Battalion. And I, I was uh, doing repairs on anything that could get be taken into the field. If they took it in the back of a semi or they took it on a walkie-talkie or whatever, it was my job to repair it. And then the Army decided to send me to Birch's Garden to study solid-state electronics. 
Now, the Lord was planning all this out. Oh, absolutely. He was planning it all out, and he was getting my wife ready back here in the States. She was getting her college degree and everything like that, and he knew what he was doing. Yes, he did. I came back from the military, and, uh, well, I I had her all picked out, and I I told the Army that uh, they offered, they wanted me to stay. They made me a good offer, but I said, Thanks, but no thanks. There's this girl back in Ohio, and I think I want to go get married. So I did. I did. And uh, But I had my training to repair transmitters and everything, and so WGLX and Galleon. You remember that? Yep, you do. remember that? Yep. Okay. WGLX wanted to have an RCA transmitter repaired or rebuilt, and so I did. Mm-hmm. And he didn't have any money, and I didn't have any money, and so we worked out a deal that uh, instead of getting paid, I got special low rates on their time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I'm a, uh, the Lord called me to preach. Yes. Buddy, I'm going to tell you something. I did it with all my heart. Mm-hmm. And then we, I got to thinking about television. I could reach people with television. And uh, the cable company had a uh, public uh, access channel. And so I went down to see them, and I said, and then they decided to pull the channel. And they said, uh, I will sell you our time if you've got your own equipment. Good grief. Cameras are cheap now. Yeah. Cameras were ridiculous back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. They were ridiculous. And they said, and they, they told me, if you've got your own equipment, we'll sell you their time. Oh man, I looked. I looked at our community, and I thought all these people that don't know that they're going to face a judgment. If I could just talk to them over television, yes. if I could, if I could reach them with television, and I'm going to tell you something. My wife will tell you that I broke down and cried and cried and cried mm-hmm. because it was impossible to get the equipment. But the Lord knew what He's doing. You know, He is in charge. Yes, he is. I went into the J.C. Penney's store, and they said, Hey, Dave, we got something we want to sell you. They had a whole table full of CB radios that didn't work. And they made me a ridiculous price, and I bought every one of them. <laughs> and I sold them, and I was making money. I was making money. I came down to two. Now, listen, folks, I'm going to tell you something. God knows what he's doing. I give him the, great, uh, the praise and the glory. We came down, I had two left. A man came to see me and said, I want those radios. They said, I don't have any money. But I got something that I could trade you. He said, I used to teach tennis lessons. And I've got a camera and a recorder to teach them how to swing. (laughs) He said, would you trade? Oh, praise the Lord, would I trade? (laughs) And that was... (laughs) And it was black and white. It was black Black and and white. Oh, yes, that was the start, folks. That was it. The Lord did it. I take no credit. Amen. Amen. And and that's the same way with, with Nehemiah. I mean, the way the Lord orchestrated the rebuilding of the walls is so important for us to understand because uh, the people, he got the people involved. Now, you had to get people involved. Yes. Uh, in yes. your ministry and your vision, we have to get the people involved backing you up. And so I imagine you began telling people your vision uh, mm-hmm. and Dan, I, uh, your vision, you gathered them together. And uh, you want to talk to us about that, Dan? Well, I can remember that I exactly is what I did. I got a few friends together uh, to discuss the possibility of putting Christian radio back on the air mm-hmm. in Upper Sandusky. Knock Bar Appliance in Upper Sandusky, and we had a night, probably two or three hours, and uh, the assessment was, yes, let's do it. And you need people with faith that yeah. can see a vision and then act on that vision mm-hmm. and to raise the money, and that's what we started to do. You know, from that point on, it was just miracle after miracle. Mm-hmm. But it, it takes, as Dave will tell you, it takes a while to put a Christian TV station or oh, yes. a Christian yes. radio station on the air. And yes. the, and it the takes backing. tons of money. I remember that you attended mm-hmm. some kind of a broadcaster meeting where um, Reverend Dobson even saw your vision and gave you a, a, a donation for your radio station. 
It's true. So, I mean, the Lord was just in it in all ways. And uh, so Nehemiah began to talk about how the people were in distress and how the walls and the gates were broken down. And he began to, I mean, he had a heartfelt uh, desire to see that change because he was before the Lord crying uh, to do something. And I know that you spent time on your, on your knees praying about this. And do you know there are so many people that have a vision, but they don't do anything with it. And that's, that's why God put that in your heart first. It had to be heartfelt and in Nehemiah's heart. And then, uh, because of praying and fasting, it showed the quality of leadership and confidence in God's purpose. And, I, and, and Dave said that he and his wife began to seek the Lord uh, for this uh, TV station. And, and Dan began to seek the Lord and found out it, it wasn't, uh, he wasn't having some kind of a weird thing going on when the Lord spoke to him, but indeed he had this planned all the time. And, uh, and so I just feel like a quality of leadership was placed in you. And also that you had a self-sacrificing spirit. You were willing to give your all for this vision to come to pass. And it, it takes both of those. So he challenged God's people to show forth their faith by working. And as he began, uh, Nehemiah began to tell different areas and different regions about his vision, about his dream of rebuilding the wall. He not only got supplies, but he got volunteers. Let's talk about volunteers. Volunteers are so important. Yes, they are. To help with your vision. No man stands alone. That's You've right. got to have volunteers that are on fire and doing the work of the Lord. And so I know our ministry uh, here at COACB depends on volunteers, and, and we can always use more. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Dave, can you tell what all the volunteers can get involved in here? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, do I need to give them a caution? Because you come here to volunteer, and they'll work you to death. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, because there is so much to do. There is so much to do, and the number of people to do it is so few. It is. The fields are ripe and the harvest, but the laborers are few. That's we true. use uh, we use about a hundred volunteers mm -hmm. here. Uh, we've got a, we've got a pool of them of about two hundred. About a hundred of them are active uh, mm -hmm. right now, and uh, well tonight. We will put on a program called Lights, Camera, Shop, and we'll use about 20 vo volunteers on that. We have prayer lines. We have di different things uh, mm -hmm. that the volunteers are essential. Yes, yes and, and okay. if you don't have enough volunteers, you've got to kind of change the way you do things, oh, yes. and it's not yes. quite as effective. I know for our uh, the prayer line, the live prayer line on every second Saturday of the month, we could use volunteers to answer oh, yes. the phone, yes. take down the prayer request, and then bring it up to us so that we can pray. Yes. And that's an easy job, but yet it's so important that people um, get involved in. And so we're asking our viewers to get involved in Upper Sandusky's uh, radio station. Just call uh, and uh, see what they need, and they'll be glad to, to uh, put you to work and uh, call here at the station. And there is something that you can do. And, and it doesn't have to be clean the toilets. It, it could be something that uh, it, we, that's needed, but there's other ways, too. There's other ways you can volunteer. So uh, we see Nehemiah getting all of his volunteers in line. And uh, his calling wasn't smooth sailing. No. And we got to understand that. There's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to, there's going to be... Uh, uh, you have to overcome a lot of things. I overcome laziness. Overcome, he had to overcome mockery, conspiracy, um, threats of attack. It said he had a sword in one hand, and he was working on the wall with the other hand. So uh, we know that there's going to be opposition coming against God's work because that is the enemy's purpose. And so we can't think that it's going to be easy sailing. There are going to be bumps in the road. So uh, God chooses a man with the right heart. 
And I know that both of you have a right heart and a clear perspective. He chooses a man with right timing. There's a right timing and, right. and connections are made. And the right timing to connect together is important. And uh, you may help him, he may help you. Uh, and, and God puts people together and we can see that all happening with the right timing of the Lord. And not only that, but an obedient servant. Yes. Uh, yes. You, you are obedient to the vision, no matter of the bumps in the road, no matter uh, if there's people that come against you, there's no, no matter if people don't have the same vision you have, there's going to be bumps in the road. And he has given you the ability to express your vision. And, and that's something, too, that... Uh, God places so much in someone that he's given a vision to. You've got to be able to express that to other people. And not only that, but the tenacity, uh, not refusing to compromise. Uh, and, and Dave and I were talking how sometimes uh, someone in authority doesn't quite get your vision, and they want you to compromise, but you've got to do the way God showed you. And pray that they'll see that vision the way God clearly showed it to you. So we don't want to compromise. And, um, and the full spirit of God has to be it within you in order to make anything successful to carry out God's will. We see that the supernatural thing has to happen. First of all, God gives you a vision. God, and you explain your vision. Can you see yourself in any of this uh, that the Lord has laid on my heart in Nehemiah? How that you can't compromise. You've got to do it God's way. Right. Uh, and there's always somebody that wants to come in and, and get, try to get you to compromise, whether it be in a church, whether it be in evangelistic ministry, whether it be in television or radio. Uh, and, and a lot of times they'll offer you money to do it. Do it my way and I'll donate this or yes. that. And you just can't compromise. No. No. So, Dave, uh, oh, I wanted to talk, too, about uh, we, have, we still have vision to expand. Mm -hmm. I know I, I want uh, this television to expand in the Finley area, and that's been on my heart for a long time so that the people in my area can watch my program uh, on TV. And not, you, can, you can watch it so many different ways. Um, you can watch it through uh, via Roku, Hulu, Fire Stick, through your computer, through your phone, uh, through Amazon, uh, through the Android, through Apple. I mean, the media that you can use is amazing. Now, is that the same way with the radio yes. program? Oh, yes. I saw when I went online that I could have clicked on and listened to your radio right on my computer. You mm -hmm. can listen to us anywhere in the world. And that, that yes, expands yeah. it when you're able to do that. So I, I was amazed when I uh, checked that out, and, and there it was. I could have, I could have listened to Christian uh, radio right here today, Christian music. And you had a vision. It started with WXML in Upper Sandusky area, and you had a vision to expand. Uh, can, you, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, when we started out, Susie, uh, WXML was just a small average 3,000 watt station. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to expand. And we had the opportunity to uh, do exactly that. And to this day, uh, we're now at 15,000 watts. Good. We're the strongest Christian FM station in all of Northwest Ohio. Wonderful. And God Good. has blessed us not yes. only with our flagship station in Upper Sandusky, but we have a station here in Marion where um, mm -hmm. TV 39 is located, but we also have a station in Sycamore in Finley in Faustoria. And so that was our goal. And God hasn't showed me the next step yet. I won't be surprised if God doesn't open up another door. Because, um, you know, plants just don't stay small. You plant right. a seed, they grow. Yeah, they and do. when God plants a ministry, it grows. Yes. And so I won't be a bit surprised if God's got something waiting for us down the road that we can't even see yet. I believe it. You've just got to have it. an open heart. And I know that's Dave's heart. Yes. That he wants to expand his ministry here as well. Mm -hmm. 
whether it be through a translator uh, station or, or whatever, uh, it's, it's wonderful to see it expand uh, and break out boundaries. And you know, one thing that um, I was thinking about today is what a blessing to have Jonathan working here, Dave's mm -hmm, son. Mm -hmm. He's gifted in different areas than, than you. In addition to the skills that you have, now you have your son Yes. And he's, he's gifted in different areas than you are. And he, he knows how to make your program fancy uh, and do all the graphics and all the things that I wish I knew how to do and don't uh, as far as graphic goes and, and, uh, and editing and all of that stuff. And so we, we thank God that uh, the, I guess it was the board had a vision to, for Jonathan to come ab aboard. And he is such a blessing. How does it feel to know that your family's all in on this? Susan, um, old dad's chest expands. Okay. I'm proud of my son. Yes. We use a lot of technology developed by Jonathan. Yes. I mean, he, is, he has ability. Mm -hmm. And we, we put every bit of that ability to work. Mm-hmm. This morning, even today, he just activated a new computer system that is tied into the FCC, and we have all the information that the FCC has on all their databases. And if we want to make an engineering change, Jonathan can go into his office and type in the changes that we want to do. And it goes out and searches the FCC's computer and uh, everything and tell you how beneficial that would be to us and Amen. is there anything that we've got to worry about and he activated it about an hour and a half ago wow so yes i old dad is proud of his son i'm very, okay you're gonna get me started you won't get me stopped go ahead <laughs> You know, people don't realize the paperwork involved in yes. being on yes. TV and radio. Can you want to talk a little bit about that? Do you have to do the paperwork as well, Dan? Oh, my gosh. The yeah. FCC makes us, Dave and I both, whether it's TV or Christian radio, we have to jump through so many hoops. And it takes the fun out of the ministry part. Yes. Because it is a headache. It is a, a fundamental thing that we have to do. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Bible says to obey the laws of the land. Yes. And so I know, Dave, uh, this organization is the same as ours. Mm -hmm. We obey the laws of the land, and we have to comply with all the FCC rules and regulations that are on board. Yes. And if you don't, there are consequences, and they're not there are consequences. They're not fun consequences. Well, what a blessing it is to have Christian 24-hour Christian Voice of Northwest Ohio uh, on the radio and also coacb uh, dot org you can get on and watch live streaming on television from your devices at home what a blessing it is to hear the voice of, of the lord and and not only that the voices of the area churches and those that want to be involved we want to encourage you today that if you've had a vision from the lord and you don't know which way to go just trust in the Lord. Make that attempt. God's going to make the connections for you. If you have a vision, don't let it perish because you can't see beyond your natural eyes. Look to God, the supernatural, who gave you the vision. And I encourage you to take the steps of faith that it takes to, to make that vision come to pass. And God will be with you at all times. I encourage you today. Don't let the vision die. Reverend Susan Hatfield's new book, Total Soul Transformation, Surviving Fire, Surviving Death, Surviving Life, is an inspirational book written to those who have suffered tragedy, emotional conflict, bondage to fear, and to those who desire a closer walk with the Lord. The testimony of her near-death experience has taken her to foreign soil as well as throughout the United States and has been an encouragement to everyone. From tragedy to victory, Susan explains God's plan for mankind. The book, Offer 101, is available for $10 to those sending a check or money order to Hedges and Highways Ministries, 
P.O. Box 413, Fostoria, Ohio, 44830-0413. For those sending $14. Sometimes, one moment changes everything. One song. One game. One adventure. One mission. For a child battling a critical illness, a wish come true can be a turning point. You can transform lives one wish at a time. Support Make-A-Wish and help grant more life-changing wishes. Learn more at wish.org. Us. It's what this country is made of. But right now, our bond is fraying. How do we get back to us? The why fills the gaps and bridges our divides. Support your local why today. Because where there's a why, there's an us. camera shop your place for bargains here in central ohio and first off my name's john aiken and i'm tori it's my wife and uh we're gonna have a whole lot of fun today uh we got a whole lot of items to get through and truly not a whole lot of time to get through it so how's your day been? huh oh you want me to tell myself yeah this tell about yourself <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is how my day started i didn't have my fob to get in the door at work Oh. So I stood outside and had to beat on the door. Oh, that's fun. So that's number one. Number two, I walk in. I set my bag down with my computer in it. And somebody asked me a question. So I'm talking to her, looking at her stuff. And I turn around. I'm like, huh, my computer monitor's not on. I hit the enter key. I'm like, why didn't it come on? Oh, I guess it helps to take the laptop out of the bag and hook it up. That's good. Before you try and log that's in. That's good. And work. Yeah. That's a good that's morning. That's how my day started. So, what? yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully everybody no, out there has had, had a good day and everything today. And, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. It's been a, a long day so far. I mean, we've been wor I've been working on some uh, computer software so we can do some engineering. And uh, we have a whole lot of good things that's going to be coming out. And um, I can't wait. To, here's one thing. You see the phone number at the bottom of the screen? You're going to want to get the next newsletter, Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to show some of the contour maps of what's going to happen when we increase power and when we increase height. Nice. So in other words, like, Mr. you know, uh, the people in the Delaware area, I know like right now we serve roughly about 340,000 of you, somewhere around there. Well, guess what? Our station is going to increase power and height so much it's going to be over 940,000 people. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And, uh, That's a whole lot of people. It, yeah, we're going to get into new places that we've we've had wow. troubles getting into, like Marysville and Johnstown wow. and uh, people in Pataskala, uh, people in Circleville, Lancaster. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be good. So, I mean, you're going to definitely get the next newsletter that's coming out. So you can call that number right there. And uh, if you're not on the list, just uh, say you want to get added to the list. Give them your name and address and stuff like that. Okay? Um, what else has been going on? There's just so much stuff going on right now. I bet you're starting to think about something coming up. The in about telethon, a month. yeah, telethon's That's coming right. up. Uh, it's going to be the first, second, third. It's going to be in November. So, um, yeah, it's that first week in November. Month and three days. You were thinking it's quicker than that. No, I was thinking when I have to go on my little trip. Well, that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, well, if you've never tuned into this program, let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, it's, this is Lights, Camera, Shop. We're a Christian organization. We're also known as your local Christian TV station. We're in Marion, Delaware, Kenton, and Columbus, and we have stations in each one of those locations. And uh, we're the ones that bring you your local uh, program. So, like, if you see, like, the Nazarene Church that uh, comes on Sundays uh, from the Bucyrus area or Marion area, uh, or maybe um, uh, seven, the 77 Productions where they have 
Um, they have churches that they spotlight there in Columbus. Uh, we help you highlight all those too. So um, what we do with uh, this program is help us raise some funds. Uh, we have things like the electric bill, uh, where you can actually almost watch the meters go as they're going and uh, uh, cranking out juice for the transmitters and stuff. And we use this program to help offset a lot of those costs. So uh, if uh, it, Lord lead it on your heart to go ahead and give us a donation, feel free to do that. However, you see something that comes up like, oh, I don't know, some unique glass bottles or something like that. Uh, just give us a call. And uh, all the profits and proceeds goes to help out our religious 501c3 not-for-profit. And um, so, yeah, 100% of all the profits. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, also, when you pick up, you get your items or you call in, you got a week to pick up your items. Uh, and then uh, after, you know, and if you need longer, just give us a call and say, uh, I couldn't make it this week. We had this or X, Y, Z happening. That's fine. We'll go ahead and extend it. So just let you all know about that. Um, also, during the program, you're going to see where we have prayer requests. All right, come on in. We're a Christian organization. There's no bones about it. Uh, we all are believers in Christ, and uh, the example he led here on earth uh, should show you the way that you're supposed to live. And we'll get different prayer requests that come on in, and what I'm asking you to do is uh, wherever you're at, however you're watching us, stop and uh, pray right along with us. I'm a firm believer in corporate prayer. Uh, where more, one, two or more are gathered, he's in the midst. And uh, when we get all those people out there in TV land praying, God can move mountains. I guarantee that. So if you have a mountain or you might even think it's a molehill in your life and you want to call in a prayer request, feel free. Just call that. We t we, you can do that all during out the program and we'll stop periodically to pray. That's about all I got. And uh, I'm done with my spiels for the time. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start it with prayer. Um, it's always good to stay Christ-focused in what you do. And I also got one prayer request I'm going to do right off the bat, okay? Um, and this one, uh, we're going to pray for this one as well. This one came in before the program, and I wanted to go ahead and show this. And this is how I do the prayer requests, is I like to show them on the screen. And the other thing about it, you'll notice there's no last names. Um, we do that for a reason. Uh, we try to give some people anonymity. You know, I guess you can have it that way. Because more than anything, God knows who they are. But I got a prayer request right here. Anytime I get the ones for the children, uh, I always like to do those right away. Because when you got children of your own, it's hard to keep those in the back of your mind when you see them laying here on the table. So I always like to pray it out and uh, let, God, uh, let God do what he does and uh, come on the scene and help them out. So if you would, please, please uh, pray right along with me, okay? Lord, first off, I want to thank you for being you. Lord, I want to thank you for being, uh, creating the universe and the world and everything. And uh, Lord, I also want to thank you for being a great friend of mine. Lord, I'm coming on behalf of, uh, first thing I got right here is for Arya. Is that, I think that's how you say it. A-R-Y-A. Uh, uh, Aria. Uh, Aria. Aria. Sorry about that. And um, it's saying on here, she's one and a half years old. So Lord, she's got the whole world right in front of her. But Lord, it says right now she's sick and at the emergency room. So Lord, what I'm asking for you to do, if you would just come right on down and, uh, and uh, touch Aria. Help her out, Lord. I know it says that she's sick. And you know that her parents and all the family members are all worried about her. So Lord, I'm just uh, praying for you to come on the scene and do what you do, Lord. Make her feel better and bring peace to the family, peace to the entire situation. Lord, I know... Uh, you can and will come on the scene. So, Lord, I want to thank you for what's going to be happening in, in uh, this little baby's life. And also, Lord, I'm praying for the station. I'm praying for the program. Lord, uh, make, make everything be a smooth production, Lord. Uh, make it so that the phones keep on ringing and uh, also the phone lines don't get disrupted. And I'm praying for uh, Jimmy back there operating the equipment and, and Dick and Rose back there helping to uh, get items and... and um, and Irene over here helping us uh, sort out different items coming up. And, Lord, I'm just praying for everyone here, Lord. So uh, if you would, uh, just bless us all and touch us all, Lord. Uh, and uh, also, Lord, if there's uh, people out there that maybe they don't have the money to spend or maybe they don't have anything they want to buy. Lord, if I could put a smile on their face or if they find something that just cheers them up a little bit on television, Lord, I think my job's done. So in Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. and amen. Okay. So, let's right. go to the first item. What do you got, honey? So, we actually have two. Two. We got one on your side, too. Do we got 
Pumpkins. Okay. These were donated to us, but we've yes. got only two pumpkins. Ooh, I like it. Yes. So I like it. I like it a lot. These we are the pumpkins are three dollars. Three bucks. So you can start your fall decorating here. Absolutely. With these nice looking pumpkins. Yeah. All right. So if you are it, interested, give these us were these were a donated item yes, too. Yes, they I were. Believe. Yeah. So however, uh, they were a mysterious donor because sometimes just things just up. show up. <laughs> Could be an angel dropping them off. I'm not quite sure. But the whole thing is, this one just showed up when we were drop, pulling in. Somebody had it on the park bench, right right yeah. in front of the, the door, uh, where they had some items we they wanted to them, donate. Whoever it was. So I don't know who, who you are. I uh, thank you immensely. And so if you see one of the, or both of these pumpkins, they're $3 each, just give us a call on those, and uh, we'll move on to the next item. Any right. other takers on it? I see the phone's going ring a ding a ding. It could be prayer requests. I'm not quite sure. So but we're, we're gonna go ahead and pumpkin with the stem. Pumpkin with the stem. That would be that so, one that John has. Okay. All right. So actually, we'll just set that one right there for now. Are we selling these individually or by the box? My bottles. Oh, we're doing bottles. bottles. Oh Let's my the bottles. I'm sorry. You can reach and get them. I can get them. <laughs> we're gonna make it. Now work these are a cool. Bit. I like these. Okay. Uh, what these are, these are just glass bottles. Here, I'll get two of them. These so that way you can see them up close and personal. And I'll zoom in Johnny Cam on that. Thank you, Chloe. And my so daughter's here, over here running and doing some miscellaneous so other stuff. So here we've got just with the glass bottles here. They come with the handle and oh, the wire clamp top here, or I would call it a clamp top. Yeah. You can undo that. Yeah, and they got, you do, they got the little, up. little rubber stopper type thing. Here, let me get let it on Johnny Cam so you can see it. Uh, it's always good to be able to see what you're wanting to buy here. See, it's got that little rubberized seal thingy there. So, I mean, this would be ideal uh, for... Huh. Oh, i got to figure out how to put it back on. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, you put it right there. And then what you do is you just put this little clampy poo right up here. We'll call it a clampy poo, should we? Square one. Square one. Oh, the square one. Well, I guess I am the square one. All right. So, there you go. Both pumpkin right, salt you. and it will just cinch on down there. So that way it'll get put a nice firm seal on it. So if you're interested in these, we're selling them for three dollars each. I got three only of them. three, only three. Only three. So if you're interested in those, I think those are cool. I mean, you know what'd be really good for these? Uh, I'm thinking the cookie mixes, where you do the little layered mixes, where you put the cookie, uh, the cookie crisp and stuff. The two, bottle, two, two of them. them. Okay. All right. So well, we'll just keep one your, left. We'll keep your bottle. Yes, they could make great gifts. I think so. I they like them a lot. They could make great decorations, too. Put some stuff in it. And well, let's see. It's called a glass carafe. Yes. Carafe? Is it carafe? I don't know. It says uh, the um, the glass carafe has a, wow, hermetic seal? Yes. Yeah. And it's ideal for storing everything from milk, oil, vinegar to any other liquid you desire. It's airtight and spill-proof. I'd put my kids to that ch that challenge right there. But yeah, it says uh, it's stainless steel clamp lid. Keeps the contents fresh for longer periods of time. Hand wash only. Bottles right, have officially left. So we're just going <laughs> to ding our dinger in happiness. Okay. The bench. And, Bench. We've got this. Okay, thank you. Now, the bench, actually, I think the bottles, these were donated by Carol Blevins. Oh, Connie Blevins. Connie Blevins, sorry. Not it's Carol. C. It's Connie. I C, right? Well, you were close. What? I'll give you an E for effort. I even was trying to, I was even trying to think real hard before doing that. That's why I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Connie. Forget me. <laughs> so here you go. But it's a really cute bench. And yes. when I say it's a bench, here I gotta show it this way too. So that way you can see it even has the uh, uh, where it's see through, and it's like a bench. It's a little doll bench. Uh, slats. I like that. <laughs> We're gonna call it slats, or we'll call it slotty thingies, or or whatever. Ten dollars. It's got a nice little heart design right here, and I'm sure little kids could sit on it, no problem. Uh, I think it's more a little bit decorative though. Yeah. I would I would assume. I would call it and I mean it's bench. it's pretty. But it's pretty pretty little pretty. Little little ones might be able to. As they run around and explore. Yeah. So, it, this is the only one that we have. So, if you are interested, give us a call. Again, it's $10. $10, and shake. it can be yours. And if you're interested, see, there you go on the side. It's got a little place on the bottom. 
It's just purdy. It is. It's really cute. So if you want something purdy, if you just like purdy things, here you go. Um, I'm not for sale, but here you go. You can get the bench. There you go. You can have the bench. I'm sure people are thankful you're not for sale. And I'm sure that that's true. Now, anyway, so if you're All interested right. in that bench, give us $10, and we'll All just right. go from there. Now, the yummy yummies. Is it, are these the yummy? Some of the yummy yummies. Are we selling the whole cute. box or just individual? No, they're individual. Uh, we have 48. 48. And then they are a dollar they're each. Belgian chocolate and caramel. 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 Ooh, it's fancy. Caramel. Mm-mm-mm. Belgian chocolate caramel. These are called uh, Galian. Galian, maybe. Uh, got the caramel and the Belgian. Caramel. What's it at you? I'm getting fancy up here. You just, you can't contain it. Caramel. Yeah. Oh my Belgian goodness. chocolate. What? The bench. The bench has bench sold. sold. Thank you. Thank you, collars. And uh, so here you got the caramel, and there you go. They're a dollar each if you're interested in those. And try Belgian chocolate's good chocolate. And anytime you got a uh, nice little, uh, nice Anything little you put, uh, put caramel, caramel in it. Oh too. man, that's good. So yeah, just give us a call on those. Uh, as Tori was saying, I have 48 of them. 48, yep. And I would buy one and sample it, but I'm on a diet. But here's what we'll do Uh-oh. is see if you can get a wide shot. I'm going to have Tori and Irene sample them. Oh, really? Yes. So and I'll does. even he wants get the dollar. See that? Wants me to eat it. There's my well, dollar. Well, you're here's my dollar. To sample it. I can't eat chocolate. Oh, that's right. She can't eat chocolate. <laughs> oh, Sorry. my. Chloe, where you at, Chloe? Chloe, come here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Chloe, you don't want any chocolate, do you? Do you want chocolate? I have to have people give an honest opinion. And I think you'll get an honest opinion out of an 11-year-old girl. I've heard her say some things that are, well, yeah, well, of course that. But here you go. Look at right here. Look how fancy this is. Let's get this out. Ooh, Ooh look at the fancy. Bars. Look at the bar. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so there you see it, up close and personal. Now, come on over here, Chloe. Um, I'll get you off some. You're fake reality. There you go. I'll give you... You want... Here, take take those. Or you want to share that with your mother. Yeah, there you go. And that way I can show the little nougat that we got right here, too, still on camera. Now, are they any good? Pretty good? Yeah. Or am I going to have to buy all 47 more? Mm. Maybe? (laughs) <laughs> Maybe they're pretty good, aren't they? So uh, there you go. If you're interested in these, these are Belgian oh, chocolates. Good. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So that here you go. Gary Smith caramel. Right? Oh, buddy. So there you go. If you're interested in those. <laughs> there you go. So if you're interested in those, just give us a call on those. It's chocolate and caramel. Oh yeah, the caramel makes it mm. all worthwhile. Well. Here, yeah, that's really I'm good. I'm just there. You go. Oh, have a piece. No, it's only a fourth of it. I start at one, I end up with the rest of the box. No, there's only a, you 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 have to eat a piece. No, you have to eat a piece. Eat a piece. <sighs> I'm telling you, oh, the man. caramel's like oh man, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow. Them are good. Uh huh. Now you gotta put your money away because mm-hmm. you will buy the box. Mm-hmm. I have to do. <laughs> if you're interested in those, give us a scope. Those are awesome. Here. Somebody eat that. No. No nuts. No nuts. You'll take that out. Oh, give me the. Um, yeah. let me see here. I'll need that. I paid for that. The, pack- the packaging sa- does sa- give as far as the warning goes. I know that a lot of people look at that. It says it may contain tree nuts and wheat. Mm. But it is not It is not nuts on top. It is just, mm. it's like a white chocolate maybe piece. Uh, it says the shells on top. The, ca- the caramel is 47% of it. Mm. That's what it's saying in there. So it's half caramel or caramel. Almost half. Almost like 47%. Well, that's true. All right, so if you're interested so no, in that. it does not specifically contain nuts, but 
It does have a warning of may. Well, on machinery where they had. It's probably yeah. yeah something that's like probably that. what it means. But we'll I want to make sure remnants. that people kind of know that. Yep. All right. So just give us a call. I know they, they are good. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go set these aside, and we'll probably end up having okay. to get more. I'm sure. Anyway, so we got more of these. If you're interested in them, give us a call. Okay. Am I selling this now? Yep. Okay. Whew. I don't think I need to get this one out. Well, I could. I could. <laughs> those are good. These are really good, actually. I know what those are. We've had them in the past, and I know I've sold a slew of them. I mean, an absolute slew of them. And what these are, these are the little jerky sticks. See those? They're like a Slim Jim, or just like a beef jerky. They're 50 cents each. Okay, you get two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. Just say two for a dollar. How many you got? It's a two for 500. Yeah. We got 500. Uh, There's two, hey, two hey, big. They were saying that uh, everybody was calling one. Well, I sold that. Everybody that's wanted. true. So I bought 500. 500. Can well, you get me you. one more? There, there and I, I'll give another dollar. Here's another, here's another dollar. Well, I might as well get two. But we'll share it, and we'll see what it looks okay, like. Okay, I was up here one day and looking for one of those beef jerky sticks out of the, because they had put some in the machine up here. And oh man! I golly, there was only one left. I was like, "That one's mine." You're, nobody else is getting. They're not chocolate. It's beef stick. See that? That's a beef stick. That's yes, beef. There you go. Well, you wait till you bite into it. There you go. So here you go. I'll give you that one. So that way you can try. See, they are soft. See that? And that's what it is. And I'll take a bite. See of it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so right, nothing up. like eating on live TV. <laughs> Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> cool. They are really good. High in um, protein. protein. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, if you're on the ketogenic diets, this is ideal. Okay. And I'm telling you, these are really good. 44 just is gone. 44 just left. Yeah, oh, man. I got, awesome. <laughs> I, got a, I can't eat it all or I can't, don't have anything to show. You know what? I need we another need to one. Buy some and put it in her lunchbox every day because she always goes to school and buys beef sticks. You do? Yeah. Oh, man. She gets beef sticks. Oh, at man. I'm like, really? Ten dollars worth is only twenty bucks. How many you want to get? She pays a dollar for one beef stick at school. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. Put me down for uh, ten dollars worth. That's twenty. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could pay him now, but I better. Uh, we'll do. We'll settle up after this. Anyway, if you're interested, well, those are good, man. Those are. Right. Do we have a full one so I can show a full one instead of my half-eaten one? Chloe. Chloe, can you hand me one of these? Back there at the corner. Because I'm just. Nah, I'm eating that one gone. That's good. Mmm. 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 All right. Here we go. I'm gonna say I can show you the empty package. This is what no. yours will look like very good. That's quickly. it. That's it. <laughs> but if you're interested in them, they're good. Mm. <coughs> now, more than 100 is gone. Yeah, so uh, if you want one, better be calling in a hurry. They're not going to last. They probably won't sell out this show. I'm sure. Mm. Because I know there's people out there that get them. Home. They're great to, for having as an afternoon snacks or something, or you know, just to throw in the lunchbox. They're short, they're easy to pack along, take with you. Mm hmm. They're called, well, on here it says, see how it doesn't have any like wrapper or anything? Mm -hmm. They say on here, Bull's Barbecue Steak. That's where you get that little bit of a sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, and these are really good. I would consider more of a mild. Okay, oh, yeah, so mild. if you don't like the peppery type stuff and um, you don't want like hot and stuff like that, uh, or really spicy, spicy, these are what I consider like a mild, mild, mild barbecue. Okay, you'll when you bite into it, you will find a little bit of a sweetness to it. That's what makes them good. Rounds them out. Mm, good, good, good. So if you're interested, just give us a call on those, and we have. Take as many as you want. Up to like uh, 300 or something, probably. That's saying they're going quick. So, 
But they're going quick. And here you go. Am I going to move on to the next item? Jimmy's Jimmy's over here. Move on. All right. So, there we go. Okay. They're trying to figure out how many we got left. They're going to give me an update before the show's over or before. I'll just keep it up here and show it again later tonight, okay? And uh, I'm not make that one go away. Now, what do we got? So, next we have the, I think it's Belkin or El Elkin. I don't know. Elfin. Elfin. USB disco lights. So you need your plug for I this. need my plug over there. Hey, Irene, can you hand me that plug right over there? So these are something Dave was fascinated with. He was showing me before the show came on. Sometimes you wonder <laughs> on some of the stuff that we get. It's like, where did they get those? <laughs> now, what these are, they're USB. Okay, I better get it so you can see it this way. Now, look at right here. It's a USB plug, so you can plug them into like a, a, a computer uh, they only use little five volts, okay? And what we did is we got a plug here. Like you would use yeah. for your phone. Like you'd use for a phone or whatnot. So you plug it in. It. And what you do is you plug it up. Well, I gotta flip it around. Plug it up. See that? And you have disco fever. Now here's the thing. Everybody be quiet. Quiet one second. Includes you. See how it changes one color? It is voice activated so yeah sound activated so if you make a sound like I'm talking right now it makes a sound so if you got music playing it will add that strobe effect when it hears the bass notes and stuff like that it would never and I'm trying to it not would never talk stop around my desk sorry. oh lord yeah <laughs> ain't that the truth <laughs> yeah I'd say um one thing I like listening to in the car that drives my wife absolutely insane is the electronic dance music. Yes, I'm one of those people. I listen to that stuff. And uh, it's got a good beat to it. Kids like it. I don't know. It, it uh, uh, uplifts you a little bit. So there you go. If you're in it, you know it doesn't. I think it's great. So, yeah. If you're interested in uh, maybe adding some light effects to that, there you go. That's cool. Any kid with a computer or something, they would love to be able to play with this. Yeah, it's five dollars, and also, Sometimes, and usually the big kids too. <laughs> it's got the little adapter as well, so that way it can use the uh, itty bitty micro USB. Okay, the Ooh, see that? Uh -huh. I wonder if you can. You got oh, your phone on you? Hey, you got your phone on you? I want to check something. I oh. think. It'll actually work off your power on Louis. your phone. I don't have my phone because I have Get children from the kitchen. who thinks it's really fun to play with daddy's phone. Because daddy has the good games. Little do they know I uninstalled most of them. <laughs> uh -huh. They will find out soon. Hold on. Dad, I gotta take yours out of your case. I can't get it in there with the case. Hang on, or Chloe is coming with mine. Is she coming? I just need to plug it into a no, phone. That's actually, it's got an adapter. That's a mic micro. It's a, a U micro um, USB micro to adapter. micro adapter. So that way, if you have the little power packs, it can do that. I wonder if it should get the power straight from the go. phone as well. Let's see. Yeah, turn your phone on. See. You can plug it into your phone and you got a little light show. Isn't that cool? Five dollars. Five dollars. I think it's a cool item. It's one of those unique items. It just depends on the person. I like flashy stuff. That's your party. You can have your own party light. Listening to Sirius BPN. Channel 51. Absolutely. So there you go. If you're interested in that, just give us a call, and it will just strobe and strobe and strobe to the sound of whatever music and anything else that you have going. Right? Sounds good. How many we got left? None. Oh. We got ten. We got ten left. If you want one, just give us a call. They're five dollars each. And I'm moving on to the next item. All right. Next, we got. Some commemorative bottles. We're selling bottles. All right, so. All right, so 
Uh, are these all collect? These are collectible. Holy cow! These oh, are wow. old. They're man, are these decanters. These are decanters. Oh, these, are these God. five dollars each? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. If you know of anybody out there, it used to be a big thing back in the 80s, I know of. People would collect bottles, and it was a, a huge thing out there. Here you go. I have, let me get it down here so everybody can see it. Oh, my goodness, I got to get it so I can see myself. All right, let me zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm trying not to make anyone sick just by me doing motion all over. And what these are, these are campaign decanters for the Republican 1972. Okay, now let's see what you got over here. Holy moly, that's pretty cool. Nixon, 1972. This should be a lot more than five bucks. I'm yes, sorry. I have a feeling it should be a lot more than five dollars. It's the elephant. It's the Republican elephant. This is Agnes. That's its VP. Yeah, and it's a campaign. This is a big old elephant, and it's a bottle, collectible bottle with the box. Five bucks. Isn't that in cool? Great shape. Yeah. And I mean that. All right, that's going. I mean, that, that's one of those ones that man, this thing probably should have sold for at it's least not the only quadruple one. more. Which one do you need? Now? We'll do the uh, Apollo 16. I don't even know what year that was. It says Great Americans Collector Collectors Decanter Edition. What's the uh, uh, 71 maybe? <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Look at that. You can spin it. Young Mattingly and Duke for the Apollo 16 program. Fly straight and land soft. Sip 72. Uh, 4 16 72. That one's gone as well. There's people out there that collect bottles, I'm sure. Saying, man, that's a good one. Did we, we sold that one, didn't we? Yes, the Republican. No. No, that's it's a different one. Huh? Are we? No. Yes, it's number four. Oh, which one am I doing now? Oh, no, sorry. Okay. He's, um, the, the first one was Nixon. First one was Nixon. Second one was Apollo. Okay, okay there's Apollo. Yes. Yeah, we got Apollo. We did that one. Okay. Yes. Now what's the next one? Tell me which one to grab. Skylar? Skylark? No, it's Skylab. Skylab? You know history. Where they built the... I'm reading that. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Skylab was the one where they built the lab in, in outer space. And it locked. Sky, Skylab is so. And, man, I, I was going to show that. I wanted to show that. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, man. Skylab was the one where it lost um, it lost power or whatnot, and it actually fell back to the Earth. And people were afraid they were going to get crushed by the daggone satellite that was out there. Okay, and, somewhere else. I don't know that one. That oh my story, goodness! So. I loved science growing up. Betsy, Betsy Ross. Ross, the Great American series. Betsy Ross. Look at that. And oh, oh look you here. This is January 1952. Betsy Ross, and uh, it says January 30th, 1836. This one is sold. 1776. It's Betsy, Betsy Ross. Ross. Robert Kennedy next. Oh, Robert Francis Kennedy. Great American series. Here's another one. There you see Kennedy. Robert Francis Kennedy is leaving. Okay. Next, Richard Nixon. Yes, Richard Nixon. And there you see it. Oh, sorry. The first, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. The, the first one was the campaign. The first one was the campaign with Spiro Agnew and Nixon. The, All right, well, this one's Nixon, and this one's sold. I'm I, sorry. Okay, all the decanters are sold. Well, that was fun. Wow, that was, that was pretty I didn't awesome. even get to show them. And I'm I like, know. John's like, I'm oh, like, Nick, ain't going at me. Those are awesome. So I mean, that's one of those ones. Were they Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Awesome. Those are awesome. All right, next. Oh, this is We've awesome, got too. the Kentucky Cutlery Company. Oh, yeah, buddy. They are what? Two well, let me see. You get a uh, collectible box. Well, it's in the box. Okay. Yeah. You, you do have a boot knife. I don't think it comes with a sheath. I just think it's the boot knife. Boot knife. How much are they? It is hopefully 15. Is it 15? Yes. Only got six. And they say right there they're Kentucky Cutlery. Okay. 
Um, focus, focus. Probably designed in Kentucky, made somewhere focus. else. I'm focusing, there. man. It's focusing. See, look how pretty they are. When they're actually really? in focus, look how pretty. Six. Only six got six. And uh, let me see if I can find out a little bit more detail. Maybe pull out a knife. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. All right, so what we got, this this be more, they say boot knife. It's a skinner, okay? See how it has the arch blade? That's so that way when you're skinning the animals, you can actually go this way. And uh, actually, it, the skin will just jump right off of them, okay? Anyway. I'm that's good for cutting my finger off. No, no. And this is a, using 440 stainless steel, designed in the USA, but it is handcrafted in China. Okay, so it is made in China. But it says on there, Kentucky Cutlery Company. And then it looks like it's got, well, we got, we're down to five. But that looks like brass pins in it. Uh, and is I don't know if it's simulated bone. It feels like simulated bone instead of regular bone. Okay, it doesn't because if you if it was regular bone, I'm sure this thing would be sky high. But I mean that's a nice looking piece. It is a full tang blade. It is all the way throughout it. So I mean that's going to be a nice strong one. And uh, what kind of knife you got there? It's a cute little knife. That's a trapper. I take it. Okay, that's a little trapper. <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> so there you see it. I just like um, calling it a cute little It's ride. got like a nickel silver <laughs> bolsters. You got a little, it looks like an eagle. I got to take my glasses off to see that. Hold on a second. Um, it says eagle, eagle edge. Okay. Eagle edge on it. And it's got a little uh, so eagle on the shield. Let me get that shield so you can see point, it. I see, there you go. There you see the shield up close and personal. There you go. Thank you, Johnny Cam. I appreciate that. And uh, there you see it also has the Kentucky stamp on the blade. Nice little uh, blade series here, a little knife series. So if you don't have a, I know I don't have a Kentucky cutlery uh, knife set in my collection, but maybe you want one in your collection. Feel free. Call that number at the bottom of the screen and say you want one. And remember, when you buy here on Lights Camera Shop, the tax is included. Absolutely, the tax is included. When I was little, don't worry, we pay taxes. Uncle Sugar gets his amount on the 23rd of every month. I actually got a little bit early this month uh, just because of you know the, where the 23rd lied. Uh, I needed to get it paid beforehand. Lied. Lied. I'm, I'm uh, like, that, that, that was a wrong statement. Anyway, so uh, where it was. We'll just go there. Anyway, so uh, but we do it a little bit easier for our volunteer staff and anybody else that's helping uh, check out. So that way when you see these coming up here for $15, that's all you hand us. We take the tax out of the price and then we pay the Uncle Sugar so we have nice streets to drive on. You don't like me calling him Uncle Sugar? I'm sorry. So we pay our taxes so we can have nice roads and stuff like that because, you know, smooth roads are a luxury. Especially when I come from Morrow County. But we're doing better. I tell you what, we're doing a lot better. Mom and Dad's road, I'd put up against any other one in here in Mary. Uh, absolutely. That road is like driving on butter. I mean, it is sweet. So, I mean, but okay. we're doing all right. Anyway, am I moving off of this yes, item? Please. Are you tired of me talking about it or talking about the roads? You got to talk about no, something. Sold. Three left. You know, Three I've, sets of the knives I've left. had people say, you know, you talk about the strangest stuff on that show. And I'm like, well, the way I look Trust at me, it. He does it in real life, too. Yeah, it's true. But the, but the whole thing <laughs> is, it's really boring if somebody was just up here just doing nothing except showing an item, and then they don't say anything. So, I mean, but well, here you go. not to talk about it. So well, just, I have something that's unique. Do you even know what it is? That's not what you I don't even know what it is. I like it when I know what it is and you have no clue. Well, I see what's on my paper. This is for your Barbie dolls. Okay? Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. I, I, I. Okay? Everybody knows the song. Okay, I go a little higher there. I, I don't go higher. <laughs> Lo lower's better. And what this is, it's a little light. See that little light there? How it turns on there? So your Barbie can actually do a photo shoot. You got your spotlight, you got your little cameras, 
Okay? And you have the stand. Right. Because for here. The camera. So for your Barbie, you got to get her positioned just right. And they, I think over here also there's some filaments. Yeah. See like this? Because in TV, in TV land and stuff like that, when you're doing in the pictures and stuff like that, as some people would say, when you're doing the pictures, sometimes you want them to look really fancy. Okay? So this is what we got. We got Barbie, a little photo shoot. So you can actually get your little camera out here and put it on top of the camera stand. I got that song stuck in my head now. Thank you. Come on, Barbie, Mr. Barney. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so there you go. And what we have here, these are the little filters. See this? Oh, now come on over, Johnny Cam. This is where it gets really cool. See, you got your light there? You want to make Barbie look red? Ooh, you're making Barbie look a little bit red now. Oh, how about a purple hue? Well, you add the red and the blue, and guess what? You get purple. Ooh. Or you just take out the red, and now you got the purple hue light. Uh, oh, blue. The blue, sorry. Or you want to go green. Here you go. Let's make her look green. So you got uh, adding the yellow to it. Or you just take the yellow out, or the blue out, and you got your yellow light. So this teaches your kids about colors and stuff like that. And for $2, they have an awesome item here to put with their Barbie. And you also have the stand. The Barbie stand. To pose her with. Absolutely. Can't forget that. So there you go. Good item right there. A unique item. I like the unique items. And I love the ones where you can make uh, you make playtime fun and educational. Everybody says, how is it educational just with a light and a little play camera taking pictures of Barbie? Well, you're teaching them all about colors. Mm -hmm. You know, you got your primary colors here. Your yellow, your blue, and your red. And what happens when you mix... Well, you got red in there. What happens when you mix red with yellow? <gasps> Guess what? You get orange. Ooh. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Anyway, so if you're interested in this item, feel free. They take c size batteries. Okay? I believe it is c size. I'm thinking. I'm fairly positive it is. And uh, so there you go. I don't know how many of these I have. have five. I don't think I have Four very left. many. I really Four don't left. think I have very many. Yeah. All right. Four left. Okay. You sold one, sold another. Three now left. we're down to three. And you got two cameras. Yes. You can have your little <laughs> photo shoots. And I'm telling you, what little girl wouldn't think this is just it? And if you want to turn it off, because playtime's over, it's got a little switch right here on the back. And what you do is you just flip Mr. Little Switch right here on the back. Remember, $2 includes a tax. That means you would have to find this set in a store. For a buck one something, left, good luck. Only one left. Good luck on that one. So, uh, only got one left. Give us a call, and I'm going to be moving on to the next item. I'd love to see this thing completely We're sold out. All, all sold out. out. Oh, awesome. Okay, awesome. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Let's move on to the next item and see what we got here. All right, so next we've got the seven day planner or pill cool boxes. planner. Pill. That's what it says. Yes, that's true. How much are they? They are three fifty. How many you got? A lot. Forty. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Well, you got two in per box. Yes. Here's what I'm going to do. Two for. They got two in here, and I'm sure you know there's a lot of married couples out there, and they normally have to take pills too. Okay. Yeah, the older you get, the more pills you take. But here you go. I'm going to make a his and her set too. So that way, it's three fifty for if you just want one set where you got your morning and night pills for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here's what I'm going to do. If you buy two or more deals like this, where you get one package, buy two or more, you get them for three dollars each. Okay. See, there you go. And they're nice pill boxes. Great for going on vacation. You don't need to take your entire bottles and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. And worry about losing them wherever you're at. Not and then you're out of people. pills. If you're traveling a lot, it's a great way to just take your pills so you only have the small amount. Or if you're a hobbyist, these things make great screw, screw containers. <laughs> you might not think about it, but look, they're all so clear. So that way you can see what's in it. And so that way you can say, hey, I need to get some hex head screws. Hey, it may not Works. just be for screws. It could be for maybe beads. Beads. Anybody who does bead work. Sure. Needle point. You could probably put some thread in there. 
Oh, I was informed. If you want to pick up your items tomorrow, Dick Haynes will be here at 9.30 in the morning. 9.30 to 1.30. 9.30 to 1.30. So we can get nine people coming in on Saturday. We'll keep okay. Okay. We used to not be open on Saturdays. Because no one was showing up on Saturdays. We is what used it was. to be open. Okay. And then we stopped. And, then we stopped. For a while. and now, now we're opening back up. But the whole thing is, we like to see about at least nine people mm-hmm. showing up. So that way we know it's uh, at least... Helping, you know, helping us out a little bit, and uh, so it's, it's not a lot it's of hard hassle. sometimes to get get up here. So well, you know, especially when you're here till late, and then all of a sudden you wake up and say, "I'm going to go into the TV station for, you know, a couple hours." And Dick will be here at 9:30. That's it. All right. So because you got a full day of football and stuff to prepare for, dude, it's going to be a good. It's good, you know. Hey, it's the shootery weekend. Um. It's Ohio State and Penn State. Oh. <laughs> it didn't work out too well the one year, though. I remember that. <laughs> anyway, what I got here, a kitty, kitty click clock. It's a kitty click clock. With a soft <laughs> nightlight. Say that about ten times in a row. Kitty click clock with a soft nightlight. Wow. <laughs> That's one thing you did do. <laughs> All right, so I got a USB power supply with it, so you got the power supply. What happened was... These were a lot more expensive before. Let me see if I can get one out. And what happened was they were shipped, and the power supply that came with it was wrong. You know, what do you mean by wrong? Well, I mean wrong. Because, for one thing, I don't know which country it is, where you have the plugs where it's just the two little round thingies. It's somewhere in Europe, I think. It's a European plug style. But here you go. They didn't have these. So what we did is we got them for a good deal. And what we're doing is we're trying to sell it for even uh, a better deal. So we're selling it for $8, and you get this. And it's a little, oh, man, I got to see. Just back on here. You hold it. There you go. Hold it, and I got to arrange a camera. And uh, what these are, these are your little click clock clacks and stuff like that. And um, anyway, they got the power supply here for the American plugs. And I guess if you want to take it to Europe, we got your other plug here, too. And uh, so, yeah, it's really pretty. And um, see if we can plug it in. Let's plug it in. You got a plug right there, don't you? I got a plug right here. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. It can take a battery. It can take a battery. Huh? And then you don't have to have a cord. Now, here you go. And here's the power supply for the U.S. For us. And here you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, now here's what it we're going to do. It's just adorable. Now let's plug her in. There you go. Right. So uh, we got to show it in all of its glory. So there you go. She's um doing the f- that. I took the film off the front. Oops. You sure did. And it lights up. See that? See how that how that is? Can you turn off the lights over there, please? Flip the little switch. So that way you can see your kitty click clack clock. Oh, I can't turn off the lights over here because it'll kill all the other equipment. So we can't do that. But notice it, it does have lights. If you spin it a little bit, you'll see there are lights inside it. So that way you can see it glowing a little bit. I was trying to do it for the dramatic effect, but I can't do the dramatic effect without losing video and sound, and that won't work for any for television. <laughs> So anyway, if you're interested in this, the kitty click clack clock. How many you got? Only one. This is it. I only got one. Hey, here's what I'm going to do, Tori. I'm going to sell it for five bucks. If you want it, it's gone. Oh. Five bucks. I only got you one. Didn't. I am cleaning the shelves, and I'm doing that with my mother right over there. You I see know. that? She's here. You you're, see you're that? Risking five dollars. If you want it, you can have it. The kitty click clock. Okay, and you got the USA power supply and the other. Okay, and I hear the phone. Did I hear the phones ringing? Mom's even on her phone. Ah, I know. I'm living dangerous today. (laughs) So there you go. I'm getting all jacked up on caffeine, so it's it's all right. All right, Irene. I'm sorry. It's all in there though. Okay. (laughs) Now remember, here you go. Remember, we do have the beef jerky sticks. Maybe you got here a little bit late. That's okay. Uh, you can be tardy here. It's okay. Clock is sold. The clock Thank is sold. Then got there. 
And here's what we do. I'm going to show these one more time. So that way you can see them. And can you turn that light back on, Mom? And so I need more light. Okay, that's fine. Um, and here you go. I got these for 50 cents each. You get two of them for a dollar. And what these are, these are beef jerky sticks. Okay? They have a... Um, uh, a mild sweet barbecue flavor, okay, and uh, they're just good all the way around. Great pr source of protein, and at 50 cents each, it won't hurt your wallet. And I like that a lot. I like that probably even more for it. So there you go. 50 cents each, get yourself some beef jerky, and I know it make your belly happy, and also some family members happy too. Because if you got beef jerky, it makes everybody happy. Nothing. It? I thought so. Anyway, um, hey, right. you want to do? What do you want to do next time? We want to do prayer requests. What are we doing? How about 10 more minutes and we'll do prayer requests? Sound yep. good? We have some okay. fun Halloween stuff. So here's what, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, call in your prayer requests and because uh, I have several phone lines open. And if you have any prayer requests for yourself, loved ones, or whatnot, uh, just remember them in prayer and we'll pray for them. And just call them on in and we'll just go from there. Now what we got? All right. Halloween. So first we have the favorite of kids everywhere. We've got the stretchy spider webs. With spiders. With spiders, yes. I think they're spider rings, I think. I'm not going to rip it out. Yeah, they are spider rings. I see it in no, there. There's rings in there. They'll stick in the web. They'll stick in Everything the web. Everything sticks in the web. <laughs> and we're selling them for a dollar. So we are selling them for one dollar. How many of these you got? We have all 12. 12 of them. So basically, you stretch this out, and it'll make it look like you got cobwebs yep. all over your house. Uh, however, I can show you where some cob. I show you where some cobwebs are at the Aiken Ranch. Hey, there you go. You're so mean. That's all right. Hey, it's all right. Give your broom and put you to work wiping them, washing them. That sounds great. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. So there you go. If you're interested in these, we have the Halloween spider webs. There's also six spider rings in it. Uh, so that way you have the little rings that you can go running around. And go, Ooh, I got a spider on my hand. You know, all sorts of stuff like that. Look, mommy, I got a spider. Yeah, that's it. And they got to get it. They got to get it this close from your face too. It's like here, look at that. Anyway, clings through rough surfaces, wraps around objects, and it also tucks into cracks. If you need to tuck in some cracks, there you go. And uh, keep away from open flame, and I saw you smirk at that one. That's okay. I'll pray for you later. Warning to avoid danger from suffocation. Keep away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. And because this bag is not a toy. Well, no kidding. Who's going to buy this and go give this to your kid? Hey, play with a bag. <laughs> I'd hope not. I'd hope not. But here you go. we got rings and stuff they can play with, too. Anyway, if you're interested in these for a dollar each, remember, uh, you can... I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm not even going to mention what all you can do with it anymore because it makes me smile. Anyway, so there you go. <laughs> if you're interested in those, uh, to go put it on the rough surfaces and wrap around objects and tuck it into cracks, there you go. And uh, I'm having a good time. I don't know about you, but I definitely am. I guess I'm moving to the next item. Okay, let's see what else we got. Yeah, we've got some little costumes. Oh, I like little costumes. No. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it though? Girls, infant, because it's a. They, you wonder why it's girls? It's pink. It's, it's a, a pink, pink skeleton. Pink costume. skeleton with a little heart. Size 12 to 18 oh, months. And we're selling it for $5. Only have one. Only got one. I tell you what, that's cute. I, I like that. That is cute. So there you go. And uh, so, yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, girls, infant, 12 to 18 months, tiny treats, uh, the pink and punk skeleton. You like that? That's cute. I thought so, too. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next item and see what else we got. Okay. What do we got now? Oh, that's me that's hitting the microphone. The mic. <laughs> this is a uh, pink and punk fairy. What? They call it a pink punk fairy. Aww, oh, it's kind of neat. So that way she looks a little bit sweet and she also looks a little demented, so that's okay. She does not look I, any Hey, animal. I guess not. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. You got, hey. Sweet. I'm getting booed. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. She's not demented. She's sweet in an ornery little way. No. So anyway, I got them for $5 if you're interested. And they call that the Pink and Punk Fairy. So if you want that, you just give us a call, the Pink and Punk Fairy. And uh, that's for uh, girls, infant, 12 to 18 months, five bucks. Only one of it as Only well. Only one. Last one of those, okay? Next one. I got another girl's infant. Teeny weeny. Oh, witch. the teeny weeny witch. Oh, oh, the teeny weeny witch. If you want to have a little teeny weeny witch in your family, <laughs> there you go. You can dress her up like one. So, uh, 12 to 18 months, infant costume, size 12 to 18, the teeny weeny witch. We have two of those. Got two of those. They're five bucks each. Yes. And that includes a tax. That means you're buying them for $4 and change. Yep. Isn't that good? I thought that's good. It's the best deal you get Especially on when you see them marked for eight and right before Halloween. Mm -hmm. We're not discounting stuff here. I mean, well, they always discount it after Halloween. We're doing it before. We're trying to give the people a, a you hand. Don't have to, you don't have to wait until the day of or day before Halloween to get those discount deals, but you can do it right here. Right on Lots Camera Shop, absolutely. Let's see what <laughs> else we got. What do I have? The High Seas Princess. High Seas Princess. Okay. Okay. There you this go. This is size 12, 10 to 12. 10 to 12 years. <sighs> Product may vary from picture photo. Uh, it says a child costume includes dress, belt, and headband. Oh, there you go. Five bucks. Five bucks. Only I bought one all those pieces and we are down to the blast box. We're on the last box. How many's in the box? I don't know. Quite a few. <laughs> so we're on the last box. Okay. We're on if the last them, box. If they want them, hurry. If you want the beef sticks, okay, as I've been told. If you want the... <laughs> She's staring yeah, in my here. cup like there's something show in there. The beef sticks. I got beef sticks right here, okay, Dad. Show them Dad's them. like, show them the beef sticks. Well, okay. you've seen the beef sticks. We got them still for 50 cents each. But we are on the last box. So these will be gone tonight, pretty much guaranteed, yes. okay? So just give us a call if you want some more beef sticks. High Seas Princess that comes with a dress, a belt, a headband. You supply the little girl. And uh, $5 and you can have it. Well, nice little pirate outfit. Absolutely. So it's cute. Let me see. Right there. She is called the pro the m m m m m m High Seas Princess. Yeah. Right. The High Seas Princess. I always thought pirates were cool. I always did. Well, we wanted to be pirate last year. I'd go with a pirate. I think it'd be cool. I don't know if she... I can't remember what she ended up going as. Though. What are you going to go as? I, I'm dead serious. We need to go dress up. Next, we need to go dress up and we need to go trick or treat too. pirate. Oh, punk pirate. I got... This is a size 7 to 8. Alright, so we got a punk pirate. Child costume includes dress with belt, bandana. But this one is for the seven to eights. Yes. Okay, so these are for the little bit uh, smaller girls. And look. And there you go. We have it for half price. Half price, five bucks. I like our it price better. five bucks, only one, only five one. Five bucks, so there you go. And uh, so just give us a call on that if you want the uh, punk pirate. Arr. 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 So you're not you're growling, you're not arguing. <laughs> you act like you're chewing on something. Chew on a beef stick. <laughs> Chew on a beef stick. <laughs> <coughs> All right, okay. next we've got the flower fairy. Ooh. No, I'm not dressing up as a flower fairy. Aww. You all can ask, but no. She's cute. No. So this is a flower fairy size four this to is, six. This is includes Girl. a dress and the wand. It's for sizes four to six. I you guess you did say that. Really? Really? Yes, four to six. Only and, one available. Uh, yep. Another twenty beef sticks are gone. They're going. I'm telling you, folks, they're going. If you want some beef sticks, ooh, I want. I want to ring that dinger and say, I am sold out of beef sticks. That's what I'd like to see. And uh, so there you go. If you want some beef sticks at 50 cents each, I already got our 20. We already we already yeah. went and crossed that road. We will be lucky for them to make it till Monday for Chloe to take to school. That's probably true. <laughs> that is probably the truth. Anyway, 
So there you go. I was thinking about trying some ketogenic diets, and that would be great. And what I have next? Oh, look at this. Next this is cute. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. So it includes the dress. Okay. So you got the dress in there. It's as uh, small, four to six years old, mm -hmm. but they can be like a little raggedy Andy or Aww. raggedy Ann. I almost said raggedy Andy, but there you go. I don't know. With the pink hair, it makes me think Lala Loopsy. <laughs> oh Lord, not that one. <laughs> That one drove me nuts. I'm sorry. It really yeah, I did. I did not like La La Loopsie at all. But I know my daughter absolutely <laughs> loved La La Loopsie. Anyway, see you. And uh, so, yeah, there you go. If you want a rag doll, give us a call. Product made change. And this is a $5 item. So, there you go. $5 item. We have two of these. Doll. And there you see it up close in the, the package on the back. Okay. I think that's cute. It is cute. If your kid has a school party, that'd be great to be able to take them to because it's not one of the scary ones, and they don't like scary ones at school. Yeah. And I know, like, uh, I, was it Andrew? It was Andrew that freaked out when uh, Chase came after him, when it had yeah. the mask on. And, like, uh, yeah, his those, cousin thought it was cool to go around with the scary one. One of those masks where you, they, like, push something and it's supposed to be, like, blood, blood coming it. running out. Well, and he would he got son. down and they I mean they were little in strollers. He got down in his face and, and Andrew's like <gasps> And I mean Search cry. We had mercy. Chase had to walk like half a block in front of us. <laughs> Either that or if he came by he had to take his mask off. Yeah. yeah. So, here we go. Let's go to the next item. I got these for three dollars each. Hats. Here you can have the, the Are you gonna say I'll I'll wear one, I don't care. I'm not proud. I always liked being witches at Halloween. So there you go. You can have one too. They're three dollars. How many you got? Is this Actually, it? Actually, one and one. Well, there one you go. One green, one purple. One green, one purple. If you want a witch's hat, you can have a witch's hat. So there you go. If you're interested in it, I swear. Uh, I'm just gonna quit. You just got a big head. <laughs> in more ways than one. Hey. Hey. That was good. I thought it was funny. Well, between the head and the hair on the back, I got problems. You got some problems, honey. That's okay. <laughs> anyway, so if you're interested in these, I think they're meant for girls. Yes, you know, they're, they're meant for you. Chloe needs to be up here modeling the witch's hat. Well, what's it say inside? Do not bleach. Do not iron. Well, no kidding. It's made of 100% polyester. Okay. There you go. If you're interested in They're pretty in those, colors. I like them. Halloween Deluxe had assortment. Three bucks, you can have and a little you know what? Hat. You could say, you know what? I don't want to wear it. I just want to use a decoration. You could do that, too. I like it. So just give us a call on those. And we'll if go I put it over the hair, it sets way too far back. Does it? Yeah, I guess it does. Yes. It does. And, and then the front of the hair, it's way too far back. I don't have a problem, honey. I don't know what well, your maybe. problem is. Mine fits. Then it might be appropriate there. <laughs> <laughs> might be. All right, all right. <clears throat> all righty. Let's go on the next item. Next, we oh, got... Oh, doing prayer requests? Prayer requests. Not prayer. Up next is prayer requests. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Let me make sure I got them all. I think there's one. Yes, there's one hidden right there. Okay. Oh, I had a praise report in, too. Mm hmm Oh, I had a praise report in, too. We did? I'm looking for the praise report. Okay, I don't just... I will add one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. You can do this. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm inviting you to pray right along with us, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter if you're Baptist, Lutheran, Catholic, uh, Pentecostal, uh, go to the Church of Christ, Church of God, Church of Zion. It doesn't really matter. We all serve one God. His name's Jesus. And he came to this world to show us a better way to live in this world. And uh, through him, um, we can live eternally. Now, the other thing about it is uh, I'm a firm believer in the Bible. By his stripes, we are healed. And uh, there's people out there, they got some uh, health issues. And honestly, when we get sickness running rampant, why does it happen? I don't know, but it's also to show God's glory through it. So that way they might be sick at one time, but guess what? They get so much better. So I don't, you know, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer on these. I got, it looks like four. 
prayer requests, okay? That's all I see is for, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go do these, okay? And uh, so I'm asking you to pray right along with me, okay? Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to get it up here up close so you can read it too, right along with me, okay? It says, Carver and Lathan has hand, foot, and mouth disease. Okay. I'm not 100% sure about that disease, but I know it's a disease. And what we're going to do, we're going to pray for Carver and Lathan. I don't know how old they are. I don't know where they're from. And I don't know where they're at. But the one thing is, I know they're calling in uh, because they need some prayer. So let's all pray together. Lord, I'm coming on behalf of Carver and Lathan, Lord. Uh, you've done some miraculous things here at the station, Lord. And what I'm asking for you to do is um, do one more miracle, Lord. Just one more. For Carver and Lathan, Lord, they say they have hand, foot, and mouth disease. Lord, I'm not 100% sure about the disease. I know it's a disease, and I know it's a bad one. Lord, what I'm praying for is I'm praying for them, Lord. I'm asking you to touch them, Lord. Whatever that disease is, Lord, I'm just praying for you to uh, just actually pluck it right on out of their body, Lord. Make it to so be uh, today, right now, they're starting to feel so much better, Lord. Let it be a miracle to all their family and all their friends nearby and also to all the doctors and everybody taking care of them, Lord. Let them show your glory through this case of sickness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Next one, <clears throat> yeah, Shannon, um, we're going to pray for Shannon because her mother, which was uh, Vonda, she uh, passed away. And it says, Shannon's mother passed away and her and her daughters are having a hard time. Um, well, Shannon, I can understand. Um, it's always a rough time when someone passes away. But the one thing about it is, uh, Shannon, I know where she's at right now. I know when she closed her eyes on this earth, she opened her eyes in the presence of the Lord. There was celebrations in heaven when another one is coming back home. So where she was having sickness here on earth and she was suffering, she's not suffering anymore. So it's, it's kind of weird when... Um, being a Christian, you're praying for uh, someone who passed away and for their family. Um, just because when you know that their loved one was a Christian, and I, I know about Shannon and also uh, uh, her daughters and other, they're Christians too. So there's going to be another homecoming when you go back to heaven. You're going to see her again. And um, it's rough here on earth because there's times when... I don't know, I used to, you know, play a lot and go fishing with my Grandpa Aiken and Grandpa Ratliff. And there's times I, I would uh, think I, if I could just see him one more time and speak to him one more time. I could just imagine with someone as close as your mother. So what we're going to do, we're going to pray for you. And I know the Lord's going to help you work it all out. So Lord, I'm coming on, uh, across for uh, Shannon and her daughters and Lord, the whole rest of the family there, Lord. Uh, because uh, Vonda came home to see, to be with you, Lord. But right here, there's always an empty void. It seems like where you where her memories used to be, Lord. What I'm praying for you to do is you help fill that void, Lord. Bring some peace to that family. Let them cherish all the good memories they had together. And Lord, just bring an uplifting in their spirit, knowing that guess what? They're going to see her again when they make it to heaven too. In Jesus' name, I pray. Lord, help them all. Amen and amen. All right. <clears throat> Next up. Whew, that was rough. Hannah's having a procedure on Monday. Now, I'm not sure who Hannah is. I'm, once again, I'm not sure who Hannah is, but that's okay. And she says she's going to have her, they got an incubator. I didn't know how to call incubate, though. Incubator. I'm Hannah, baby. An incubator? So she's a baby? I'm assuming the way she talks. The way she talks is a baby. Okay. See, sometimes you talk to the... It's kind of nice having the phone room in here. So that way you can actually talk to them about the prayer requests that come in. And um, so as they're telling me over there, Hannah, I guess, is a baby. They say that she's having a procedure on Monday. 
uh, they're going to stick uh, Hannah in an incubator um, so that way she can get better. So, uh, Lord, I'm coming on behalf of Hannah, Lord. You know what needs to be done, Lord. I'm praying for you to do it, Lord. Whether she needs to go in the incubator or whether you want to go and heal her up right now, Lord, it's up to you. It's all in your hands, Lord. That's one thing I do know. Because I know what, another thing is your will is going to be done in whatever it is. So, Lord, I'm just praying for you to heal this baby, Lord, and help her live, so, thrive and have such a good life here on earth. Let, her, let your light shine about her, Lord. Give a peace to the family. Let them know everything's going to be all right because as long as you're in it, it's going to be okay. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. And the last one I have for right now, until we get more, it is from wife. Okay. I like that. From wife. Um, Claude, which is the husband, is going soon for a feeding tube and needs prayer. Okay. So, uh, so Claude's wife <coughs> called in this prayer request. Lord, there's such a, a sacred bond, Lord, between a husband and a wife, Lord. And it just touches me when all of a sudden she's calling in for her husband, Claude, who's soon going to have a procedure where he has a feeding tube because he's having problems maybe eating, maybe swallowing, keeping things down. Lord, I don't know what the problem he's having, Lord, but the one thing I do know is she loves him dearly, Lord. She's looking for a hedge of protection around him, making sure everything's going to be all right because it'll all be better in the morning. So, Lord, I'm praying for both of them. Lord, I'm praying for Claude to get better. Um, says he's going to have to have a feeding tube. Lord, I'm praying for you to allow that to happen and, and let that feeding tube be uh, in, inserted and all the surgery just be fine for it, Lord. I'm also praying for one thing also, Lord. I'm praying for you to have some strength that comes to Claude. Whenever he can get extra nutrients and stuff like that, Lord, people go off of feeding tubes every day. Lord, I'm, that's one thing I'm praying for. I'm praying for him to get so much better. And the one thing I'm also praying for is for her to have some peace in her, in her mind, peace in her life. Because the one thing is when you have a marriage that's surrounded by faith and a marriage that's surrounded by prayer, uh, Lord, there's nothing stronger than that, Lord. I'm praying for them both. I know they love each other so much. And, Lord, it's all in your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now. Oh, Jonathan. Yes. Anna is 13 and she's being incubated. How do you say it? Oh. Incubated. They're going to do down her throat. Intubated. Intubated. There you go. For breathing. For breathing. Yeah. Intubation, too. Okay. There we go. Well, I prayed that one completely wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Who knows? You know what? You see, Somewhere there may have been a little baby who needed that prayer. It may not have been that specific one. But Lord works in mysterious ways. But here's another thing I always find comfort in. Is my Jesus walked on this earth. He saw how imperfect people can be. How sometimes you mean so well, but you get things screwed up so bad. But the thing is, um, we're going to pray for her again. And I don't know. I'll find that again. I know her name was Hannah. It's Hannah. Well, she's 13. Hannah's 13. She's going to have to be intubated for breathing. I'm not sure what that is. But That's where they put the tube in to help. Help breathe. Help with breathing. Yes. Okay. All right. Sorry, my bad. So let's go ahead and pray together. And uh, let's all pray for Hannah. It was Hannah. Yes. Okay. Lord, I want to thank you. Um, for honestly, I'm thanking you for uh, Hannah's parents or whoever that's uh, looking after her, Lord. I'm praying for, I'm thanking you that they called on in to correct this, Lord. Because I know, I read in the Bible when when God's people pray, it moves mountains, Lord. And having the faith, you know, and having the faith to just believe, Lord. I'm praying for Hannah, Lord. It says she's going to be int uh, intubated. Uh, Honestly, I, Lord, also pray for my uh, pronunciation of it. But, Lord, I, I'm here about how she's going to have a breathing tube going down and, and trying to help her breathe, Lord. So, Lord, I'm praying for you to help her in that situation, Lord. I'm also praying for you to give that breath of life, the breath that you, ga that you gave every single one of us when we came to this world. 
I'm praying for you to give her that breath when they give you that incubation tube going down her throat, Lord. Let it be that today or when she has that done, her life's going to be changed. And Lord, I'm praying for her to have be so much stronger and be able to breathe so much better, Lord, that it's just a miracle to anyone who's seen it, Lord. That's what I'm praying for and that's what I'm believing, Lord, is you're going to come on the scene and help them all through it, Lord. Be with that family as they're, they're there with her, Lord. Uh, and just be with them all. Because I know at 13, you're going to be scared to death, Lord. I know I would be even at 41 right now. But, Lord, I, I'm thanking you for what you're going to be happening in her life. Because, Lord, I know every time that you, you're going to have tests in this life, Lord. But the one thing I'm thankful for is you get a testimony out of, all the, out of going through it all, Lord. And she's going to be able to turn to her, her peers and uh, turn to other people and say... You know, I got through this, and it was through the Lord's help. So, Lord, I want to thank you for what's going on in her, her life, but I'm also thanking you for the healing to come. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Okay. You want me to wait on this one or just do this one too and have it done? Okay. They're saying wait. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait. And so, uh, Cindy, I know you called on in. Just give us a, we'll say what, at 10, 50, about 10, 10. 10, 10, sound good? All right, Jimmy knows 10, 10. You make sure to tune in at 10, 10. We're going to pray for this, and we're going to invite everybody else to pray right along with us, because it's true. There is power in prayer. We're on number nine. When you get the director coming out of the chair in there, because you, you just got a picture of this. You got a picture. Jimmy's back there in his comfy chair. He's going to come and get you again. And he's going to come up here and get me again. <laughs> but he's back there in his comfy chair. He goes, I got to go tell them one thing. They're on number nine. They got 45. So well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it as a power hour. We're going to sell a lot of items in a real hurry. All right, hey, let's go. You're going to see this. We started tonight with 500. Dollars. Started off with 500, and, and let me see it real quick, Dad. Let me let me see it here. That's here, here. All that's left. Bring it on over. Hold on. That's Hold all on. that's left. Let's sell these in a hurry. So can we? Out there, folks, you want to help us out? Here you go. Let's count them out, honey. Count them out. How many we got left? One, three, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. 14, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, come on, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 43, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, Call on in. Help us clean out the beef, the yeah, beef sticks here. All right. And then we would have sold 500 beef sticks tonight. So 45 more. So maybe you called in with it and got 10 or 20. And maybe you want to up your order. Call on in again. They're good. Uh, trust me, you're going to eat them anyway. Okay. And you're going to want more after you get done eating. Okay. I'm moving on. Got 45 left. And I'd love to have a, a call to ding my dinger over those. Okay. What we got now? Yes. yes, we got the hats. I think these are we got these. All no. right, so these we window got. covers. We got a one window cover here. It's a 30 by 48. These are all a dollar each. Dollar each on the window covers. I don't know how many of those do I have. How many do I have? Ghost. Uh, two. We got two. Two of these. Okay, so if you're interested in that. We got six of these. Got six of these. Got six of these, so just give us a call. They have the pumpkin with the ghost in it. They're a dollar each. Next one, I got a pumpkin. says, welcome on it with some spiders on it. It goes on a nice screen door, so that way you have them. I got three of those left. Next one, I got some more creepy corner creatures. These are a dollar each Only as well. Only got one of those, and they got some ugly looking things, and they'll be hanging in your windows, and that's kind of cool. Also, let's do these. We got the uh, dollar each on this one still. Hanging ghosts. Only one of them. Only got one of those. If you're one a hanging ghost, give us a call. One dollar on those, and they'll keep track of those. And last but not least, for a dollar, oh, it's a dollar still, yes. is it? 
It is a dollar, okay. These are these giant stuff of spiders. They are 11 foot wide. You stuff them full of leaves, newspapers, whatever else you have. And well, don't do it with garbage. It'd be kind of stink. But here you go. We got them 11 foot wide, and they are a dollar each. We got four of those. So if you're interested in any of the Halloween decorations, just give us a call. Give us a call here on Lights Camera Shop. Call the numbers at the bottom of the screen. Next item. Which one? We got these scrunchies. How much? How many of these you got? They're a dollar. Yeah. Is that the hair? The hair. Oh, thing. that's the hair piece. We got two of those. Two of these for a dollar each. I'm just selling the dollar items real quick. So if you're interested in these, what these are? These are called these scrunchies, and basically it's a little hair piece where it'll dangle in your hair. It's got a little comb on the back side there, so that way you just put it in your hair, and you can have a nice little orange braid with three little spiders on it. It looks cute. Looks well. I guess it looks cute. So there you go. If you're interested in that, girls will love it. There you go. Boys too. Who knows? So there you go. What do I have now? I think the AC and more box. Is this AC a more? I don't know what this is. It's just a little box. Yeah, AC and more box are five bucks. It's a little trinket box. Just give us a call. Five dollars. It can be yours. It's got a. Uh, it looks like crocodile leather. It's not crocodile leather. It's an imitation. I'll just let you know that already. But it's got a nice little clasp here, so that way you can actually lock it up really nice. And it opens up here, so maybe you play, I don't know, maybe you play cards uh, on Tuesday nights or something like that. And uh, so it, you can put your cards in there, and there you go for that. $5 on that, just give us a call. Get the ring of dingers. Get the ring of dingers. Yeah. 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 We sold. So so 500 beef sticks have left the building. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for out there just calling in and saying, hey, I want some beef sticks. Right. And uh, we got those Next, for you. Next, we've got the golf hang hangers. <clears throat> the golf hangers, this has your humidity and thermometer. Thermometer meters and stuff like that. Here you go. Thermometers? Ther thermometers. So there you go. It's got a golf. Maybe you got a golfer in your family. There you go. That way you can see what your humidity level is. It's 60% in here. That's why it's kind of nice. Okay. You don't want it really so hot. Uh, it's saying that it is 60, uh, cold. three. Okay. Cold. Yeah, it's chilly in here. I'm not going to lie. I'm not pulling <laughs> any punches. It's chilly in here. So there you go. If you're interested in these, except it's I'm only three dollars, three bucks, only one available. give us a call on those. Next item. Page down. Page down. Where is that page <laughs> down? Over here. Okay. What do we got? Next, I've got a butterfly earrings. Okay. Oh, and we got earrings. That is bracelets. I don't see earrings. Um, hey, Jonathan, right before this item, when this item was at the ACM War Box? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's sold. It's, it's sold. Okay, that box is gone. Okay, okay here's what I'm going to sell now. <laughs> Can I just sell this and just go off the sheet? Because it's not there. I'm going to go with the Cornet Cordless Electric Shears. So maybe you need to do a lot of cutting. These are electric, and they'll go snip, 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 and uh, just go real fast. Five bucks. How many of these I got? The well, electric shears. If you weren't off the sheet, I could tell you. Well, I got one. I know I got one. <laughs> so we got one. If you're interested in these, these are the cordless electric shears. Um, these aren't for shearing sheep. These are for shearing the stuff. No, the, okay. Yes. That's gone. Okay. The, um, the golf. Uh, the golf. Thermometer so here you go, electric shears. If you're interested in the Cornet electric shears, five bucks it can be yours. Moving on to the next item, and we'll worry about that other in a bit. I got uh, eyelets. You have eyelets on there, the screw eyes. No. How about the uh, toggle bolts? All right. Here's what I want to do. I got two packages here. Okay. They're two bucks each. There are four toggle bolts. This is for an eight inch. Um, Eight, an eighth of an inch by two inches. Ew, man, I can't even speak. These are toggle bolts. Uh, they're, um, so if you need to hang up stuff uh, that where it won't move, and uh, so these are really good. Toggle bolts, two bucks gets you a package of four. That way you're buying them for 50 cents each. And there are two toggle bolts per package. Well, these are the ones where you go through the wood and they'll spread open and then they'll just cinch it up uh, close. Okay? Toggle got bolts. 11 toggle bolts. I got 11 toggle bolts. Number 18 for the people here. Number 18. This is number 18. Okay? And they're toggle bolts, eighth of an inch by two inches. They're two inches, uh, two inch toggle bolts there. 
Uh, so if you're interested in those, give us a call. Next thing I got is screw eyes. Screw eyes only got one of them. These are the large number six. Um, number six, which is uh, 0.192 inches, okay, whatever, uh, by one and 15 sixteenths. These are the steel zinc series. So these are the bulldogs. This is to help you hang up stuff, okay? And, uh, yeah, they're just the screw eyes. You screw them in, and they'll help you hang stuff, okay? Kitchen utensils, gate hooks, miscellaneous other stuff like that. Give us a call on those. Next thing I got right now are some earrings. Okay, I've got them written down in order. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, so this is going to take a little bit. So um, they're $2 each. And what I got here, I don't know what number. We'll figure this out. It's scribbled out on top showing what the letter was. I think this one's A. I'm fairly positive. We'll call this one A. This is the, uh, the br I don't know, brownish with the multicolor stones. Really pretty. $2 on that, $2 on that. Do we have a different one? Uh, no, they don't have, they're scribbled out. I can't tell them. Should I show them or just pass up? Are they are, are these all just onesies? These are these all onesies? Oh Lord. Some of them have two. <laughs> okay. I'll just show them I don't know what the letters are because they don't have it on them. So I'm just gonna do it this. Oh, so I got the, the brown oh, here's ones. The butter. Okay, next let me see the next one, honey. Okay. Butterflies. Uh, you're slowing me up here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeezy peeps. Woo! All right. Okay, I got it out of here, focus. Here, butterflies. There's a, there's a butterfly. Okay, there's these are butterflies, butterflies with the little crowns. Okay, they're cute. I mean, they are really cute. See that? They're, they're all butterflies with crowns. Uh, they got the little wire hooks, I guess it would be, and they got the little, is it like a rubber stopper or something like that? Yes. Yeah, so there you go. They're two bucks. Give us a call on those. They're like little danglies. <laughs> okay. Danglies. So I got three got of those, right? Silver, right? Yeah. Which one of these did you show? Both. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, so if you Here's want those, give us a call. I got it also, a, uh, got one with green. See that got the green color on there, so just give us a call on that. I think these are very light pink. Uh, yeah, I'd say light pink. That looks like light pink. So there you go. If you're interested the in those. I have no idea. All right. So next, there was. Why don't you just hand me the C's and D's, and we'll just go to that. I got a half hour. That's there. the look I love. <laughs> I love you, honey. Anyway, I got these right here. These, we're just going to do bangle bracelets, okay? These are uh, Jennifer Lopez series, okay? And uh, so J-Lo. Here you go. Uh, basically, they're bangle bracelets. Let me get it up here so you can Those see are it. number 42. Number 42 on the sheets. <laughs> so there you go. I'm jumping around here, folks. It's okay. I'm, I'm making it confusing. What but that's letter, okay. What letter do you have? We're going to sell these for five. What letter do you have? C. You got two two C's. Two C's. We're selling them for five bucks each. Are we? Yeah. That's not what she says. I'm sorry. I didn't have a price. That's okay. It's got seven on it. I got I got them for five bucks each. Oh. If you're interested in those, they come with the little bag, and there you go. Also, they got the little thing that'll go bleep if you try to take them outside. Oh. Um, there you go. I also got the D's, the which are like the little arrows. See that? It's like an arrow that will wrap around your wrist. And they got the little bling bling on them. See that? Blingy bling, bling bling. And there you see the bling bling. And uh, so, yeah, we got this one right here that has the dangly arrow. See that? Little dangly arrow with the heart. That's That one's C. This one right here is C. With the arrow with the heart. Okay? This one is just a solid arrow all the way around. And this one is D. Jennifer Lopez bracelets. They have the nice little collector's bag. Really, really pretty. Give us a call on those and we'll uh, go from there, okay? Five dollars each. Give us a call. Five dollars each. Just give us a call on those. Next item. <clears throat> Here, these are the same. 
Two dangles. These are the same. Two dangles. Big old stones. And they're bangled. They're, uh, so they always have the round stone in them? Yeah. Or and they got the they got the Sorry. little the little itty bitty stones that go along with it. Right. And they're dangle and they're really fun. Two bucks each. Two All bucks right. each. Give us a call on those. This is another dangle. Right. Instead of the big the big gemstone, you have a wired The what yeah, what they call that? The uh, There's the rectangles. Did they call that a filigree? Filigree. Filigree. Isn't that what they call I think that? So. Yeah. I think so. All right, well, we'll come up with something. You can call we it whatever you want at two bucks each. We'll, we'll, we we'll make it up. up. I'm fine with that. That's we'll call it, this is a filigree. Can correct us. That's okay, too. I'm fine with that, too. All right, I, I've been corrected before. Open rectangles. Open rectangles. I only have one of them. They, they seem to have better backs on them. See that? They got the nice, solid backs. All right, see that? I'm going to open this because it'll show better. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, Lord. Okay. They, it's a longer one. Now, I'm going to show this one, too. And it is a white one. You see that? Well, that's a white one. All right, so just give us a call on that one for two bucks. And that is... That's fancy. I like it. This reminds me more of a southwestern mot motif. See that? How they got a... A massive amount of danglies on that. Coral. And it is really a pretty. Color, yeah, color, like, like a coral pinkish color. Mm -hmm. And uh, some filigree type stuff on there. And then once again, they got the wire backs. So if you like the wire backs, there you go. I don't know. All right. Then, then you just got the, the biggie, big the chunkies. Yeah, the chunky hoops. That's what I'll call them. I don't know. They have the big old chunky hoops. They're not really hoops. chunky because they're really thin. They, okay, they're thin, but yet look <laughs> chunky hoops. They're, they are okay. super thin. They're big. A nice big round hoop. Yeah, the price on the back. The price, we're selling them for two bucks, and they did say on there, our price is nine ninety nine. So, I mean, that would be good for, like, if you wanted to go as that little pirate outfit. There you go. Shh. <laughs> Shh. What? Uh. I think it'd be kind of cool, but it's, uh, there you go. Good item right there for two bucks. So if you are interested in any of the earrings, you can... Now, I got a couple decorative for them or pins. I got a decorative pin that is a golf set. See that? Golf set with the, the golf clubs and the little bling bling. Really pretty. Two bucks on that. I also got the uh, apple... The uh, What is that? Got a rabbit. Is that a rabbit? There's a rabbit. That's a menacing looking rabbit. An emerald rabbit. Okay. Enamel. Enamel rabbit. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? Why do you say it's menacing? Really? Okay. It had red eyes. That's all right. And then I also got the round little button type thing. See that? Gold and silver button. Gold and silver button. I'll call it as I see them. And uh, we got the chunky jewels. I don't know. What else. It fastens on like that. Oh goodness! Yeah. What do you? How do you describe it? Silver like um, gemstones. It's uh, silver with like gemstones in it. Colors yeah, green. different colors of green and uh, yellow. Well, it's kind of like yeah. a, a chartreuse, maybe. Yeah, I noticed it picks up the. Yeah. Around here, the the uh, silver parts. Picks yeah, it does. Up it blings blings. I like it. So it, it matches a lot of stuff. So just give us a call on those. If you're interested in those, just give us a call. All notes. Next item. I have a, a 10. Bless this home. I like it. So, uh, yeah, holiday 10s. Uh, uh, I only got one of them, two bucks on that. So there you go if you want to make some uh, um, cookies or you want to make some fudge. Like Aunt Rita watching this and you want to give this to me for Christmas or even next week. That would be good. <laughs> There you go. Bless this home. I like it a lot. There you go. Just give us a call. Two dollars each. Moving on. Hey, I got a cool little blue basket. Yes. I like that. I like you that a lot. Fifteen dollars on this. If you're looking for a nice little glass piece, maybe something just to put in your uh, curio cabinet or, or whatnot, uh, or china cabinet, and just make it just set off. Now, here you go. And see that? It's got that blue look to it. That's really pretty. Um, I like it a lot. $15 on that. $15 on that. So just give us a call 
Oh no. How many we got? We only got one? One. Here's what I'm gonna do. Toy, mom's busy, let's drop it down to twelve. Twelve dollars. Don't tell mom. Alright, so twelve dollars, just give us a call on that. Huh? Yeah. And your wife will bid on it. Alright. <laughs> Irene said ten. <gasps> ten dollars, let's sell it. Her what? Ten bucks. So. Alright. Your wife what? Buys you. Okay. Next item. I got <laughs> she doesn't answer Alright, here we go. I got a phone. <laughs> Don't you well, she is on the phone, well, isn't she? Kill. Anyway, I got right here a neat little serving tray. It's five bucks. It's white. It's got the uh I don't know, gold tone type edging on it. It's really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. She just turned to me and said gold trim. Okay, thank you. Anyway, uh, so if you're interested in this, just give us a call on that. All right, moving on. Dick will be here at 9.30, Mark. Dick will be here at 9.30 in the morning. Dad is saying just please come. Because uh, as long as we can get oh. customers come in on Saturday, we'll open up. How many of these we got? Keep them on the stove. Nice Only got one. If you need some clothesline stuff, well, it's diamond braid nylon rope. It reminds me of clothesline. But anyway, this is a three and three sixteenths inch by a hundred foot. There's a lot here, okay? And uh, it's a working load of 140 pounds, so it can hold quite a bit, okay? And um, yeah, let me zoom in right here. So uh, maybe you don't have a clothesline, you want to string up one. Here you go. Uh, 100 foot of rope will get you pretty far. And that's three bucks, so just give us a call on that working load of 140 pounds. Diamond braid nylon rope. Means you'd have to buy it for $2 and change to get it for the $3 that we're selling it for. So just give us a call on that, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next I-10. Okay? Yeah! Blanket behind us. Cleveland's hot right now. Cleveland is hot right now. They're, they're good. Oh, man. What was it? Baker Baker Mayfield's jersey is in the top ten, and he wasn't even officially named starter until last week. Picture that one. Huh? They won. How many? Oh, okay. One in two years. But I'm telling you, it. You should have watched it. I mean, he came back. It was awesome. Anyway, we got right here the Cleveland super, super duper, super duper soft blanket here. We're selling it for $38, I was told. $38, so just give us a call. And if the temperature in here drops anymore, my wife will be taking this off and using this during the show. Anyway, so if you're interested in that, give us a call on that for $38 for that. And, uh, yeah, only got one. Next item. Okay, hey, can push some of that oh, over here? Huh? I need push some items. I just need you to push me something. How many of these we got? Hang on, I saw where that was. We got several back there. We got um, several. These are the. Bump, 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 these bump, are like bump, a stein, bump. I would say. Yes. Light up Disney <clears throat> cups. We have eleven. Okay. Eleven. So what you do is they have a little. Activated, the pit. Been, this one's been pulled you already. We open and you open. Oh, yeah. And what it does, it lights up. You push a button, it'll change colors. Or it'll cycle through and stuff like that. So there you got purple. It's cycling through all your different colors. And we're selling them. Only for $3. No. You can take out right there. $3? $3? Now, the cool thing about it, I'm thinking, being a parent, I'm thinking, how am I washing this stinking thing? That's going to be a Because pain. that's going to be a pain. After one drink. Yeah, one drink and you spill it and this thing's ruined. No, 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 no. Contraire. Contraire, oh, fellow contraire. parent. Here you go. What we'll do is you pull this thing out. Then you just wash that. So there you go. Or if you want to just, you know, rinse off the top, I guess you could if they're spelling it and doing stuff like that. And then when you're done getting this in the dishwasher and you get this pulled out, guess what? You can put it right on back. And there you go. You got yourself your Disney Stein back. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. All right. So just give us a cool, uh, give us a cool on it. Give us a call on it. And uh, we're selling them right now for $3 each. Um, how many you got? 11 Buy two or more, you get them for $2.50 each. 
Yeah, there's your deal. That means you can get two for five. Ooh, that felt good saying that. That felt so good. It'll even feel better when you're calling in saying, I'll take four. <laughs> you know? I tell you what, it felt good saying, I'll drop them to 250 each if you buy more than one. So there you go. If you're interested in the light up Disney Steins, like you see right there, ain't that cool? All right. So just give us a call on it. You can change the color however you like it. And it's just really, really cool. Okay? And, uh, Press it and one more time and turn it completely off. So there you go. Give us a call on those. What's that? Prayer? Okay, let me sell this first and then I'll get to you, okay? I got a bunch of these. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we got a bunch, don't we? We've had them a while. Sold out the Steins. Steins are gone. Thank you. We're going to have to get an actual count. I'm going to drop these. I'm going to drop these. And I just need to know what, how many we got. Are we easy saying we got 200? I'm moving on to the next item. Uh, well, we're going to sell some, or we're going to do some prayer requests, okay? Next, okay, here we got, we got two prayer requests, and we got, um, all I'm going to ask you to do is pray right along with me on these, okay? And uh, so if you would, please pray right along with me. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so what I got here, this is for John. He is uh, recuperating from heart surgery, and he needs prayer. Okay, see that? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pray for John. Lord, I'm asking for you to come on the scene for John here, Lord. It says uh, he had heart surgery, but first thing I want to do is I want to praise your name. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for uh, helping him get through this heart surgery. So uh, it's going to help him throughout, uh, throughout his life, Lord. It's going to help him have a little bit more breath. And it's going to help him uh, do a lot more projects that he'd love to do, Lord. Maybe run around with the grandkids or kids and uh, just be a lot more active. Lord, I, I thank you for that. And Lord, it just says on here he's uh, re recuperating from it. So, Lord, I'm asking for you to come on the scene and give him that strength he needs to keep on going. Okay, Lord? Uh, help him through this. Let him have no side effects from whatever they were doing to him, Lord. Let him feel better just today and forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. amen. All right, next item. I got uh, Cindy has congested heart failure. Okay? So what I'm asking for you to do is uh, pray right along with me for uh, Cindy there. Okay? Cindy has congested heart failure. Lord, I want to thank you for Cindy, Lord. Um, I want to thank you for her faith, Lord. Calling on in with a prayer request. Or maybe it was a loved one calling in for it. But Lord, I'm praying for uh, you to come on the scene, Lord. Help her through whatever uh, situation she ha might have. Uh, there with the, the, the congested heart failure, Lord. Let it be so she doesn't have all the fluid building up. Uh, and also some of the other side effects that she might have with that, Lord. I'm praying for... You just to help her out through this situation, Lord. Let it be so that she's not showing as many symptoms as they had. And maybe they might even have to change her diagnosis. That's one thing. It would be absolutely wonderful. So, Lord, just help her through this. Help her heart. And um, I know she'll be a blessing to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. amen. And I did that one. Okay. Next item. Here. I got a praise report. Praise report. I like these. Yes. So, um, Chris who is in St. Louis, who's the 10-year-old who yeah. was diagnosed with lymphoma. Yeah. Had a PET scan this week. Okay. PET scan is the one where they check for cancer, mm -hmm. and they'll light up on the, the mm -hmm. test. Okay. They told gave the results today that he is considered in full remission. Hey! No cancer spots showing now. That's awesome. He's went through two rounds of what they call the 554, where it's five days in a row of, you know, for, you know, five days, five days, and then, well, each Give week, away. and then four, and then, uh, but he still has, of course, his three-year plan to, you know, make sure that, you know, <laughs> everything stays well, but that is that wonderful is awesome. news, I mean, it was amazing, 
you know, that only with God's help does that happen. So, you know. I'll agree with that. It's a wonderful thing. So, anyways. Anyway, so you got a, a good thing. You got a praise yeah. report. And I yes. want to thank everybody out there. Yes. Uh, if you watch our show, you maybe you prayed for Chris. Yes. And uh, so I want to thank you. And there you got a praise report. There you got something showing you how God's working in his life. So there you go. I got something here for the 12th caller. Are we okay? No, just give me one second. Oh, no. Okay. Don't say anything. I'm not saying no, anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm holding that. This is a giveaway. All right. 12th caller, call on in right now and you get it. What I have here, this is what they call the sample packs. Ooh. Basically, you get a sample of everything that some of these places have. And what we got here, we got everything from kettle ch cooked chips to uh, air horns to spoons to truffles to, I don't know, a little bit of everything. So just give us a call it's on like a those. Spinner. Yeah, there's uh, spinners. Um, Aqua blues, snap links, tungsten rings, and stuff like that. Do we have our 12th caller? We have our 12th caller! Yeah. All right. We want to thank everybody for watching. And we're going to find out who that here is in, yes. in just a few moments. Okay. Can we go ahead and start another one? We just need that. I, I did that. We did that. I did that one. This one this one? did that one. I need this. That socks are good. Here's what I'm going to sell. Diabetic socks. Uh, $7 each. Non-binding top. Sizes 10 to 13. How many of these do we have? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm Diabetic looking. socks. I thought I saw them right there. Right Diabetic there. Socks. We have eight. Eight of them. $7. Seven dollars is your size. Ten to thirteen. Three pair in each. Okay, three pair in each. The winners, James and Linda King. James and Linda King. Congratulations. Hillbilly Jim. No. No. Anyway, so what? Dick will be here open up tomorrow. Okay. As long Dick as we can get okay. nine people each that week, we'll keep it open yes. every Saturday. Okay. So, yeah, coming tomorrow at uh, 9 30. Come on in. Till 1 30, Dick will be here. Dick okay. Will, we'll be here, and you all can keep him on his toes. Keep him occupied. We want at least Hill nine Billy people. Jim. Hillbilly Jim. Hillbilly Jim. See? I, was I told you I thought it was Hillbilly Jim. I heard James. I'm like, Jim? <laughs> Had to scratch my head for a second. I'm like, really? Yeah, he'd come on in here and we talk about old wrestling. Yeah. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. If you are interested Brutus in the, the socks. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Interested in socks, we're going to sell these for six. Instead of seven, I'm dropping them to six. I only got eight. That means you get them for two bucks per pair with the tax included. Means that you actually get them for five dollars and change per package. Hey, there's that plate. That's a good price right there. What? You found no. the plate? Yeah, I found that white plate. So here you go. These are size 10 to 13. I can curl, it, curl up with the blanket and put some socks on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It'd be good for the night. Yeah. Well, the, the Cleveland Browns are on fire, so I mean, I bet you that they warm you up. So here you go. Made in the USA. It matters. Natural cotton blend. And the thing about it, if you've never seen them, here you go. And what these are, these will actually stretch. See that? They stretch so that way they won't cut off the circulation oh, to the legs. Good. And they just hug they the time. legs. And uh, just a good item right there. Non-binding tops. Good item right there for if you have circulation problems, edema, or um, neuropathy. So just give us a call on those. Next item. Moving on. Here's your, here's your blanket. The blanket. blanket. I think we did the blanket. We talked about it. Yeah, we did it. $38 if you're interested in them. Okay. All right, so if you're interested in those, we're selling them for 38 bucks. Nice. What I got next, these are play binoculars. Actually, they work. Holy cow, they work. They're play ones, but they actually do zoom in. Kids it's binoculars. We've got three sets. We've got a green, we got a purple, and we got a rose. Yeah. 
How much are they? They are one dollar each. Dollar each if you want some play binoculars. Five purple. Five purple. One rose. One rose. And four green. Four green. Right. And they actually, <laughs> look, they actually do work. Of course, it's kind of hard to squint your eyes through that little thing. Three of them. Three of them. They want three of them. So, I mean, they're cool. If you're interested in them, I'll get them on Johnny Cam. I'm sorry. I'm, I know I have Jimmy over there saying, get them on Johnny Cam. One green. All right. <laughs> so that leaves. <coughs> what was the first three? Oh, you want four of them. Okay, John. Uh, yeah. Do we have four left? I have no idea. Hey, somebody wanted three at first. What color? I don't know what colors. I got three greens, five purple, one rose. I'm not sure how many we have. I'm just going to put these aside. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to set these aside. You hammer it out over there. Thank you. What number is that? Thirteen. Number thirteen. I'll say I'm sold out of. We'll say we're sold out, shall we? I think it's a good idea. To say we're sold out. Because I have three people on three separate phones, and each one of them wanting a whole slew of them. So uh, we'll just say we're sold out, and they'll hammer it out back there and let them all discuss. Is that good? We're discussing. We don't fight. We don't argue. We discuss matters. So <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. I don't know if anybody else is having fun at all. I'm having a blast right now. So here we go. I mean, we had three colors. Three we colors, and each one of them had four a different Four green. Amount. Okay, okay. Five purple and one rose. Okay, good, good. Okay, we should. Can I sell them both? Okay, we got. They are. Dude, it's the Moshi Monsters. Okay. I know this one because the Island of Moshi was the ones that the kids liked. That was the nursery rhymes. That was on the. So they would do the children's reading and that they'd fall asleep to. The Island of Moshi. Anyway, so we got the Bratz Go Fish and the Moshi Mobile Memory Mashup. Okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm selling them both for uh, two bucks. Okay, you get them both. That's a dollar each. And you get them both. One's a memory game. One's a go fish. How many you got? One of each. All right, so there you go. Two bucks, you get them both. You get a go fish game, and you get a memory game. And the kids are going to love them. Okay? So there you go. And the reason why I know the Moshi Monsters is there was, you can look it up. If you ever look for, uh, like, lullaby books, they have an app. And there's a lady singing and stuff. And they talk about the little Moshi Monsters. And all I know is my kids will make it through about maybe four minutes. And then they're... <laughs> it's great. Anyway, so just give us a call on notes. Next item. I got some jumbo book covers. That's mouse mats. Those are stickers. Oh, my goodness. Stretchable jumbo book cover for a buck. How many do I got? I wish you would let me figure that out before you ask me that. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll look at this together. It's a little puppy dog. It's a book cover, and it will stretch. And so that way, that and when you get older, in like high school and stuff like that, you got to cover your books. And that's what the the, uh, the schools like. And uh, go from there. So. <laughs> Welcome to... I'm looking. I see the mouse pads. It's going to be worth it. Or is it? It's probably. Maybe they thought these were all mouse pads. Yeah, they Green. thought they were... How, how many of the blue do you have? No, that's not, that's oh, that's not it. Pink. Cover girl, no. Alright, we'll do these first. These are the... Uh, Sticker. High School Musical. High School Musical 2. There are uh, two of them. And these are like little mouse pads. What? Okay, we'll say we sold it. There was one. Okay. I, I assume. That's what I'll say. And I'll stick to it. Okay. And these are the mouse mats. So just give us a cool call on those. And uh, we got the greenish and we got the pinkish 
And they're both high school musical too. Okay, any other takers on it? Be sure and come down 9 tomorrow All right, next item. Oh, we have four of the doggy book covers. Four dog book covers. Instead of one, we have four doggy book covers. So we're down to three left. Yes. Three left, they're a dollar each. Uh, I don't know if you need to see them again. Just uh, try yeah, to remember. They're purple and they got a cute little dog on them. Yeah. Anyway, I got invitations. These are just plain invitations. Um, they say everything you need to make ten invitations. Card panels, pockets, envelopes. Oh. And they're Hallmark, Hallmark stationery. They did sell them for $9.99 each in the Hallmark stores. Not here. We're selling them for two bucks each. Two bucks two. each. Each one of them have ten. We only got the two here. So, uh, so yeah. The socks were six dollars. Okay. Oh yeah. I had um, diabetic socks. What? Diabetic socks for six. Anyway, so if you're interested in these, give us a call. Ed Moore called, and he's reminded me. Yes, how he came in with the uh, ad that you might have been seeing. Ebhart Church, um, Sunday night at six. They're having gospel singing, which is joined by grace. Uh, if I remember right, they're the ones that was from White Oaks, if I'm thinking right. And then also uh, Kevin McCoy. He's going to be preaching. And I think he, I don't, I don't want to say what position he was in the church, but he also goes over there to White Oaks. Uh, so yeah, he's, they're going to be over there at the Gebhardt Street Church, uh, and that's going to be for Sunday night services. So they just want to make sure everybody knows it's going to be a special service and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in going at the Gebhardt Church, uh, they're going to have um, Sunday night gospel singing is going to be joined by grace, and then you're going to have Kevin McCoy to preach, okay? Next item. Um, the sheets. Check the sheets. Yes. I mean, we're. And those are at the last. Last page. Hold last up. page. Last page. King size, luxurious sheet set. Thirty-four. Number thirty-four. Next to last page. Okay. So we've got two sheet sets, only two. Only one got these, two. One in green, one in orange. They got the same style pattern except for one that's in green and one that's in orange. Yes. Okay. They just this has an orange background with all the deer running. This one has a green background with all the deer running. Okay. They're both um, the king size. Mm -hmm. So just pick out which one you want. Twenty bucks. How many of these we got? One of each. One that's of each. It. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna blow them out of here for eighteen dollars each. Okay, eighteen dollars each. If you're interested in it, you get a little bit better deal. And uh, I also thank you for helping us clean them up um, and go from there. These are the Deer Run Combo Sheets. So just give us a call on these. Eighteen dollars each. Eighteen dollars each. Just give us a call on it. Okay. Next item. Okay. Here's some makeup. <clears throat> makeup. We don't do that here, do we? Cover girl. Cover girl. Skin combat. Compact. We have a fair and we have a classic beige. Uh, the fair is 310. The classic beige is 230. And this one right here is for sensitive skin. Fragrance free, oil free. Not, okay. And this one is a pressed powder. Okay. And they got the little poofs. One dollar, right. one of each. One dollar. I'm sorry, two dollars. Two dollars. One My of each. fault. Two dollars, one two. of each. Yes, I had one on the brain from one of each. But. Yes. So, if you are interested, give us a call. They will be here. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's just sell them both for two bucks. That, let's just move it. So if you want both, here's what I'm going to do. What were the colors on them? They are the classic beige and the fair. <laughs> I'm just going to sell them both for two bucks just to move them on out. Because on this one, the, the package is kind of ripped up here and also on here. 